Did you enjoy Exodus? I know a lot of you guys were expecting you players to uh, perform. Did everyone you were cheering for perform as well as you would have wanted to? And oh, okay, we are jumping actually into it. Awesome, we're going straight to town and city. Both players probably agreeing to that stage. Uh, both characters are amazing at killing off the top and both players are trying to get things going that way for them. All right, but Luma is already out. Small lead for Lancelot, but now Homika not only is uh, uh, making the percent even, but having some great stage control and the Luma is back. This is a dangerous situation for Lancelot. Finding a way back using side B to knock off Luma. This is something you're gonna see a lot in the matchup. Side B is so effective for that. Uh, be it either command grab or the sidekick like that. Yeah, both of them are gonna work in order to kick Luma out. And Homika will need to play around that as well. This is something you, you will see. Most likely a dynamic between Lancelot trying to find those, Homika trying not to get hit by those, and then, well, Lancelot not doing them anymore. Mixing him up. There are gonna be some uh, layers of thoughts right there. All right, nice down tilt into dash attack. No tech, so that's gonna be a lot more damage. And the up smash to catch the side B on stage. This is looking very even so far. This is definitely looking very even. Very nice roll from Lancelot trying to catch Omika off guard. But, but, Omika knows better and put him in a bad situation. That down, yeah, that down air from Luma. Kind of looked a little bit sketchy there, but definitely worked. That's going to be the first talk and that dash attack will kill the Luma. It is now time for Lancelot to try and find that first talk. Right, finding a grab. Is he able to connect the upper? No. Clutch air dodge from Homika, making him leave to see another day. But Lancelot trying to control that edge with the uh, banana. Committing to the up smash. Fortunately, not the read he wanted. Homika will be able to get back on stage. Now harassing his opponent with some jabs. Luma is back. This is something Lancelot needs to take into account. Oh, nice roll read. Homika actually not even reacting, just reading the roll and positioning him in the same manner, but having Diddy Kong. Oh, that's a difficult spot, but... Yeah, the, basically every time Diddy Kong is going to be up above um, Rosa Luma, it's going to be a difficult spot to get out of the juggle situation. But same can be said for Diddy Kong when it comes to killing Rosalum. Oh, okay, that's gonna be a double up pair. The sour spot up pair into strong up pair. That's uh, what we have seen kill Sonics before. It's gonna take that stock, that second stock very early. One, zero, four, Orsk, Grand Poitiers, Homika. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, the GP in the Orcs is actually Grand Poitiers, which <laughs> to me doesn't sound the most eSport thing. Keep it GP, keep it GP. All right, we're gonna start. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Homika won first game, and we're start. We are jumping right into that second game, final destination. I'm, I'm not even sure what's the dynamic, what's the the reasoning behind that pick is for Lancelot. All right, Homika finding a good grab. Unfortunately, spaghetti just a tidbit. That down tilt will allow Lancelot to get back into advantage states. So much damage. So much damage coming in. All right, nice short up forward air. Pulling out Homika spacing. It's gonna be a down throw up there. Lancelot escaping the pressure, back into neutral game. And now he has an opportunity to get rid of Luma. Unfortunately not finding it, but he's able to come back on stage and uh, find it back here there so oh that's gonna be a forward smash Rosalina is so so light she actually died but at like 100% but no authority kill like, it, it wasn't even close she couldn't she couldn't leave that one all right double back here on the shield uh, trying to up smash the Luma that, yeah that might be interesting just for the damage actually the Luma is stunned during the first hits and most likely knocked back by the by, by the rest of it. Interesting decision. Yeah, enough damage. Now Luma is gone. Okay, very patient gameplay from Homika. 
just shielding the side B and watching his opponents react from that. Okay, that's gonna be a forward smash into down smash. Luma is going again. Such an effective strategy for from uh, the Finnish player to get rid of that Luma. That's a lot off stage. Now cornered. Now it's the in control of the stage. All right. That was a uncontested progression from from Lancelot. I don't. I don't feel like Homika is is very effective at, at controlling that stage that much anymore. But well, that gravity pull will actually put the banana in a difficult spot for Lancelot. Helping out Omika. Helping out Omika grabbing some more damage before he can get that kill. But that's looking rough. Yep. I was talking about that command grab being able to get rid of that Luma on the side of the stage like that. It's uh, very, very effective. Omika finally finding a. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That was too much. Uh, he had the uh, barrels explode on stage, most likely trying to dunk out Homika, but that's gonna cost him his first stock of the game. Still in a very comfortable position, but we ha we're playing against uh, Rage Rosa Luma, so you really need to take care, to, to be careful. Well, Lancelot side being on stage, having some more stage control. He's on the offensive now. Forward smashing right away, and that tilt into up smash is gonna take that second game. What a clean, clean way to end that start. I, I believe that Force Match could have been punished from uh, Omika, I would say so. I I was surprised he didn't react to that, but he actually went in just a bit too late, and that's something you really want to avoid when you play against CD, because when, when he can bait you in, he can hit the down tilts, and you know what's go coming up. When, when the down tilt connects, they are bas basically, uh, Diddy Kong can do anything to you. And we're going to Battlefield for Game 3. Homika's pick for sure. Three, two, Same matchup, no changes. Homika's confidence. Oh, and we're starting with an up smash on an air dodge read. Some spaghetti to up smash, I like it. Okay, Lancelot, able to land with that forward air. Yeah, some, autho mo some more authority coming from Homika. Finally contesting Lancelot trying to get back that stage control. Every time he walks forward now, Omika has something for him. We've seen a neutral air taking a lot of space. We're seeing jabs, obviously. Alright, that neutral air. Authoritarian neutral air. I was talking about the down tilt as well. It's gonna deny a lot of stage. And the forward smash! The forward smash from Luma. That range is amazing. Every time I see it hit... I see it connect from so far away, I'm surprised. And I think Lancelot was surprised as well. Did not expect getting killed there. And now we have even percent, but a stock deficit, a whole stock deficit. Lancelot is gonna need to focus in order to get back into that game. All right, nice add to it, but didn't capitalize on that. Yeah, now Homika is just gonna play the runaway game. Waiting for Luma, just trying not to get hit by too much damage. I think he knows he's gonna get caught at some point. Uh, when he's platform camping, but he is willing to sacrifice like 10 to 20 percent in order to play against Lancelot when the Luma is back and the dangerous situation can begin again. Okay, I'm hopping in on commentary. Agrofox here. How far? How much has happened so far? How's the game going? How's the match going? Well, um, it's welcome first. Thank you very much for helping out. Uh, com commentating these games, they are amazing. Uh, the, what we're seeing is a dynamic of. Lancelot tried to get in, try to keep the stage control, and when he effectively does it, uh, well, uh, like we've seen in second game, he has a strong and commanding lead. Like uh, he actually wins uh, commandingly. And now at the moment, though, well, what we're seeing is Homika destroying Lancelot. So yeah, I, can I see that. I, yeah, stock lead. yeah, two stock lead. It's kind of it's kind of a rough one. Uh, it's gonna be a back here off stage again. Lancelot struggling to get anything going really. But, but, yeah, okay, Luma is, is gone, which means he's not, no, okay. Homika did not go for the conservative gameplay this time. He's going to go for the straight up smash there. Zero hesitation, and that will take game three. Yeah, catches the landing there, convincing two stock. The matches before have been closer then, I guess. That's I the thing, been like, they were uh, very much back and forth. Like, the first game okay. was 
uh, if I remember, a um, not a two-stock but a very commanding lead win for Homika. The the second one was a two-stock for Lancelot. And now it's a two-stock for Homika again. So very back and forth. I what stages did we go on so far? Oh, Bats of Field, Final Destination, and I'm not sure anymore. Town and City, okay. Town and City. Yeah, okay. we're back on Town and City, but uh, the DSR is on. I think both players know, and they uh, they are not allowed to go back on that one just yet. So Omika won on FD then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you think we're going to see FD <laughs> again for <laughs> Kong or... I, I'm because wondering. I, I'm not. I'm not even sure of the of the uh, stage order anymore. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. You know. So, I want something I don't remember anymore. But what we can expect is Lancelot going back to town and city. Obviously. Yep. Yep. Actually, no. That means Homika won on town and city, and Lancelot is allowed to take it back to, uh, on it. Right. So Lancelot now has his comfort pick. And. Uh, what we can expect are early kills from the top from both players. That's what we saw from Homika. He's so proficient at hitting the sour spot up there into another one. Just catching the air dodges and that stuff. Getting the Luma assist and right now those are the dangerous percent for the sour spot into the sweet spot. No, exactly. You don't even need that much rage. That's going to be a sweet spot up there though. Yeah, still, a, you know, you still, still uh, feel very threatened when you're above Rosaluma, but sometimes you're very much uh, thankful that she hits the strongest hit and you can just fly away from that. You, 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 you got some damage, um, but you, you're surviving that one. Alright, that forward air will knock Luma off and the, the forward air animation will switch the hurtbox from uh, Diddy Kong, catching Homika off guard, trying to shield grab that Diddy Kong. Unfortunately, no. not able to, and now we're back to even. Yeah, Homika successfully ran away those few seconds until another Luma spawned. And now, basically, the roles have changed again. No longer is that Lancelot hunting down Homika, but it's Homika who has the command here. Sending Lancelot off stage again, trying to get a ledge trap going, trying to take the first stock. Mm, and I love I love the skidding animation uh, coming from Homika. Just just spacing out the, uh, aggress the ag possible aggression from Lancelot and, and really covering the rolls as much as the, uh, the side Bs and all that by skidding back and uh, making his herd box shift as well. So it makes it very safe and still uh, very ready to go aggressive whenever uh, out of the skidding animation. It was a dangerous roll just before Luma spawned back, but he successfully run ran away for mm, another 20 gonna be seconds. An yep. Yeah, all right. The, the jab trade is gonna. Oh, all right. This up air will take it though. The second one, Luma with rage. Even though the move is tail, that's definitely a helpful, uh, helpful situation. Yeah, Homika already in danger percent again. Then again, Rosalina and Luma. Mm. That's a character you gotta know how to run away with. You gotta know how to not get hit because you have those times where you just don't want to be in your opponent's face because you don't have Luma. And then when you have Luna, Luma again with the rage, knockout percent. Oh, that that up B almost killed. That yeah, was some janky stuff there. Lancelot goes for that a lot. Yeah. And that almost paid off. But that back here will catch Homika with the jump get up. He's got to deny that. That's something we've seen the whole set. Uh, Homika actually got back on the stage rather easily, dodging the, uh, the banana, dodging the forwarders just by jumping, right? And uh, now actually being able to capitalize on that with the back here at the edge. Still um, in very much. Still in a difficult posi position, like 80% still, and, and counting, 0% on Rosalina. He's definitely gonna need to focus and, and, and get back into that game somehow, get rid of Luma as soon as possible and get something started, because Homika doesn't look like he's going to stop his aggression at the moment. Even, yeah, even now that he doesn't have Luma, he's going for those uppers. He's going uh, to chase his opponents in order to clutch that stock as soon as possible, get into Winner's Finals as soon as possible. Yeah, the thing is, even if you don't have the Luma, if your opponent is in disadvantage, you want to keep him there. You don't need to hit him, but if you hit him, that's 5 to 10 seconds wasted for your opponent. Mm. And 5 to 10 seconds closer to getting another Luma. And as soon as you get the Luma, you're, and your opponent is in Oh, that's going to be an up smash. Yep, that's going to be an up three smash. One. Exactly. 3-1. Three, 3-1 for sure. Homika coming straight from Paris and gets into that Winos Finals just like that. Clean 3-1, clean performance from Homika. Uh, unfortunately, Lancelot having no answer in that last talk. 
And that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Tomika in in, in in finals. Yeah, he was really running away. And Tomika, the only player who is still true to his seed in winners' finals with the second seed, Purple oh, yeah, Age, that, of course, that, got upset. That, and there, and there was so many upset. Ca camera, yeah, just a little bit. Good. Thank you. Yeah, there, there were so many upsets in that tournament. Yes. Like we, like I was talking about, like we have many people that came from countries that uh, usually don't travel. Those are scenes that are underrepresented and that stuff. So. Uh, making upsets happen at a lower level than the top level, but those were the one upsetting the other ones too. So kind of having a full change of the ecosystem, right? And we exactly. we saw the, the the whole system change, and a lot of upsets happen because of that, and and straight up upsets as well. Okay, so let's talk about the next match. Alrighty, what do we have? We're gonna see the other side of winner semis. Ooh. Duck, the French Luigi yeah, yeah, yeah. slash Bayonetta. Sli <laughs> no fake. And near the German Ike. Mm, that's going to be interesting. I am very surprised to see near so far with that Ike. I mean, that's a, a character that is very difficult to play at a high level, but near. Uh, still in winner's top eight. Very impressive run. I'm excited to see what he's be, uh, he'll be able to do against Tag, who is most likely going to play Bayon that matchup. Uh, he has played against Mike before, and went to Luigi. It went well, but Mike had a lot of uh, a lot of strong hits connecting. Into yeah, that's right? what I wanted to say. I can see Nier's run going on because Ike does decent in both matchups. Like for a character as bad as Ike is, those matchups yeah. are worse than they should be or than they could be. I think against Bayo, he starts off with grabs. That's one safe thing. And he has big aerials to space her to zone her out a bit. Yeah. Luigi just Luigi doesn't have the range to contest him. That's true. That's if you true. play the range like well. I, I would see Ike actually defending himself against Luigi. Yes. But whenever Luigi gets in with a player That's like Tag, that yeah yeah, that, who is able to do the poke combo reliably, he can actually kill from a zero percent grab, and that's crazy. That's yeah, actually even, mad. Even if he doesn't, that's going to be 60, 70, at 80 least, percent. At least, at least, yeah. And if he doesn't, then, well, we, we, we can see Luigi struggling to kill for, uh, for a while, but this is still a very uh, struggle matchup. And and against Bayonetta, I'm not sure of the dynamics, but I'm pretty sure being a um, having a big hurt box like he, uh, he does, being a fast faller and getting edge guarded so easily, that sounds very bad uh, on the paper. Yes, but then again, you also have to see near, he always plays Ike. He's used to playing bad matchups because he plays yep. Ike. Yeah, so he, he's going to yeah. know how to get around that. He's going to have a plan. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully he comes in with a plan. Because <laughs> if not, Tag is going to rip that that's man gonna apart. That's going to be a short top eight for him if yep. not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be near versus Tag. I can see. I, I can cheat. I can see the screen from there. That's going to be a Luigi versus Ike. Tag actually switching to his secondary and going Luigi for this time. <laughs> So yeah, we're probably going to have a bit of a slow start in the game. And then as soon as the first grab from Luigi comes, it's going to pick up space. Uh, it's going to pick up the pace. All right, That's both players call. agreeing to... I I'm pretty sure it's Smashville. I'm not sure though. No, never mind. Both final destination. Final destination. Both players already falls. That second's winner semis of Exodus Top 8. All right, we're already seeing Nier trying to escape and just uh, safe pressure coming from Nier. Oh, and that was a grab we were talking about. Clean tech chase from mm. Nier getting his grab. All right, that's a I triple like tap as well. Yo, oh, that spacing was clean. The back end not connecting, unfortunately. Yeah, Nier spacing is very clean. Getting the chaps in the moment when he needs them. Oh, and but that's tech, what that's we were talking grab. about. Yeah, that's another grab. It's going to be the Kopo combo. Nope, not connecting, just going for the back end. I think he, he recognized that. He uh, missed the, the momentum chase, the, the DI chase, so he just went for the back air in order to get the damage. But so much damage already, 97% on Nier. Looking so good at the beginning of the game, but now... Oh, but that, that's a nice back air. I, I'm, I'm biting my lip every time I say that, but <laughs> you have to recognize that one. Putting the Tag off stage, but Tag uh, just came right back on stage and in advantage stage. Nonetheless. Yeah, and that's kind of what I expected. Like, oh, I but that up tilt. Ooh, yep, what yep, a clean yep. power shield into the up tilt. Very surprising for Tag. Very surprising for everybody who popped off for their boy, Nier. Yeah, but Nier just on the hunt for the kill. And now that's a big advantage. Because as we said, he can zone out Luigi. And if Luigi doesn't get in, 
like finding a grab that's possible but finding a kill and luigi doesn't kill well off of grabs if you space against his uh, back throw like to a zone where it doesn't kill yet mm. he cannot really afford to go off stage against ike you know because that up yeah. i mean up b has uh, such a big hitbox does he, he have doesn't have the mobility yeah he does but that ooh, all right that ether is still a very scary tool to go like Luigi can come back from anywhere on the stage, but he takes time. And that time is well more than enough to charge a fatal ether, right? Oh, and he went for another up tilt there, called out the normal get up and or the roll. That looks scary. That looks very scary to me. 80%. That's oh, that's gonna be an percent. up smash. Yep, yep, Not yep. anymore because the rage is gone. Nice up smash. Now we have a rage Luigi against a 0%. I connecting the uh, up throw for there though. Tiger's not gonna die just yet, but another grab might be able to do it. Yeah, that forward air putting him off stage again. Near, keeping it cool, keeping it cool on stage, not going for something too crazy. Just uh, trying to outspace exactly. Tiger there. Taking his time, staying safe. All right, Number one goal, not no. get grabbed, but he did get grabbed. Another, that's another one, one. That's gonna be an up, a double up air. Nothing left, no resets, unfortunately, for Tag. And yeah, Near's gonna be happy, 55%. That's okay. Like it, you don't want to take 55%, but they could have been so much worse. Oh, and that he catches up the jump. What a hard read. Damn, that up was clean. I did not expect to see an up to cover, but there are so many active frames that that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah, but then again, if he does anything else than jump, that's gonna be a punish. That's gonna and be a punish. And reach at the ledge. Yeah. You're gonna be off stage. Cyclone. I'm wondering, now. I'm wondering because from that position he could actually have gone like a up air and then fast fall off stage and come back with a back air or something like that. Well, I am just very wondering. Possible. I just, just know yeah. that Ike's aerials have a ton of lag. So I'm not sure if he was actually after the up air still high enough to get like the double jump back air. No, what I mean is uh, he could have fast fell off stage, like with the yeah. momentum, gone off stage and, and, and come back. So maybe too much lag, but he could have like upbeat and not getting punished right away. Oh, we're seeing the bio and we're seeing already some bio tank. All right, tag in order to get back is um, felt obligated to save near there. But still 54% to start the game is a rough one. Yeah, but great awareness by near jumping into the up B from tag. Not dying just yet. Mm. And near falling for the yeah, near falling for the back air on shield bait, and that's gonna be a witch time. What's the mix up coming from tag? All right, he tried the immediate back air, but near knowing better actually inputs the get up attack in order to get out of this, the situation. Oh, that's gonna be oh, that's gonna Tried be to a, go for a hard air dodge read, a hard ass read there. <laughs> I mean, he could he couldn't really get punished, and he didn't. And if you get it. That's stuck. That's amazing. And yeah. if you're at 100% and your opponent at 60, you're gonna take that stock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. And that's gonna be a up B. Putting near. Well, I was about to say in difficult position, but he actually kept his jump somehow during the whole trade, during the whole edge guard phase. So he's actually able to make it back pretty reliably. And now it's Stag in the ledge trap position, but never mind, it's Bayonetta. She can just side B on stage, actually find the stage control back and finding a back air. All right, side B on stage, near back in a neutral position on the hunt for something big. Yeah, this is so scary for Bayo because like you are oh, in the advantage. Kind of, yeah. You want to keep the advantage. You have a big percentage lead. And then there's Ike who can just kill you like that. Like the next back just air, like that's that. going to be it. Absolutely. You don't want to take it because if he doesn't have rage 77, that's cool. You're cool with that. Yeah, but 150 rage, Ike, this kind of yeah. back airs hurt so much. You, you want to take respect them. Rage. Same for the up tilt. Uh, now, Tag is actually kind of scared to go in. Yeah, Two things, well, he he can't actually afford to just camp it, but that back air, that's what he can't afford. Yeah, this kind of stuff though. Oh, that counter was triggered, but unfortunately for Nier is not going to take that stock. Forward throw is not gonna kill just yet. Nier lives to see another day. Still a max rage. Oh, we actually went for the down smash, but didn't expect so much uh, shield stun. That's what the bait is about when I actually drops the edge and goes for the up B again. Yes, All right, that dash attack is not gonna kill just yet. The attack is not gonna Oh, what, what a attack. clean tech! What a tech from Tech! <laughs> but the neutral air still takes the stock, and we are at max rage on Ike here. 
That's so scary. You really want to take that stock because otherwise your stock is going to melt away just like that. Ike is so powerful. Two grabs and you're in kill percent. Ooh, but no we tech. Had the, we had we the are cleanest even. situation and interaction before with amazing tech and amazing counter. And now we have the easiest tech coming on and Nier doesn't take it. Jesus, and we're back to an even game now. So, All right, all right, Nier. All right. Let's but see what you got now. Sometimes the easier techs are just harder because, you know, you got, you're panicking, you're at high percent, you just got hit, and you press the button as fast as you Absol can. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a difficult spot. Oh, Ooh, that OP that will actually so knock cool. near out of the either, but that was a scary, scary situation for Tag. Tag now in a deficit position. He he was actually dominating that first stock for the whole, whole stock, and, and, and near finding that stock early actually puts, most likely puts Tag in a tilt. And that's what we're seeing, like near... Well, Tag is definitely playing aggressive again, but not finding the combos he needs. Yeah, I mean, then again, Nier, he knows he has time. He only needs one more grab, and then that's the 50-50 situation. I think those are the perfect percents right now, and Bayo is a character that is known to kind of struggle with those 50-50 situations because of her terrible air dodge. Ooh, but that's oh, ladder. that's gonna be a nice read! Oh, he called what a read so on the hard. yeah, yeah, yeah! He called him out with a jump side B, which will make the up B connect at such a height eight, uh, high height that you, you you just can't see that. That was death. Uh, yeah. When when the side B connected, that was death one way or another. Nice call out from Tag being able to take that second game and make it an even set. Yeah, that's gonna be good for his mindset. He was up so much, and then he got put behind by so much, but he still was able to pull through. If he lost another game after being up so much and then you're down 2-0 after dominating your opponent in the early game, that's gotta be hard, but now you're gonna wonder Absolutely. what's gonna continue now. Yeah, yeah, well, Tag is now allowed to have his momentum again. I mean, momentum regained. And we're seeing him play his neutral game like we've seen in the beginning of game two. Very nice counter though. So much damage and stage control gain from that one. Every hit from Nier just finding his target. He's so efficient. He doesn't throw out a lot of hitboxes, but when he does, they're just gonna hit. Oh, and that, uh, and that spot dodge callout was sick. Actually getting that down smash. Like, this is actually is the, the only realist? time I've seen a down smash connect yeah, and Nier feeling himself. Feeling yep. <laughs> Another one, actual try uh, of the uh, dodge read. But Tag is having none of it this time. All right, there's gonna be an up throw. That wasn't our match. <laughs> that, was not, that, that was not our match. All right, four other string. What does Tag have to get that? Oh, <laughs> the down tilt that just yeah. dragged while they were a mile away from each other. That, that, that looks scary because the down tilt really comes from down there. So he can actually connect it on on some of the the moves that that Tag uses. I mean, by oh, Ooh, now what a call out again! Another call out. Near doesn't. Near is in his head. Nier doesn't throw many moves like you just said, but when he does, he does! That he was a scary him. up tilt. Yeah, he just finds him. And now 90%, that's a quarter of your stock, a third. Your stock is just melt melting away, especially if he still has so much rage. Oh, Exodus sponsoring hot dogs for the commentators, let's go. Awesome, let's go. I'm not commentating now, I'm eating. <laughs> All right, no. We have Actually, my e eyes are just eating this match because I love what Nier is doing. How cl clean Ike gameplay is so beautiful. Mm, and I, yeah, their tech yeah. gets the double, like goes for the double back air. Bayo's back air. That's just a big, big wall. How do you get around it? Drops the stuff. Yeah, uh, that was a difficult spot, but he made the mistake to drop his shield way, early, way too early. You know that Bayonetta not only has a second jump, but also has a side B and this kind of stuff. You have to respect her when she's pressuring you on the, this platform, but near dropping it like straight after that second back air. Still, still having a very solid gameplay after that. Small mistake, but uh, very commanding lead. Very commanding gameplay. It's gonna be a down tilt into the forward air, into a lot of, lot of Bayonetta stuff. Not just going to get that kill just yet. He was very high, but he came back down, and those that almost only special. Oh, that's gonna be a side B, and not B, not side B connecting after that, unfortunately. Nier tried to retaliate with the up air there, actually, but didn't quite get it. And now, 110%, that's just one forward air. And forward air is like the one move you can throw out just like that. Maybe not against Bayo, but like when you're gonna throw out a move, it's gonna oh, be a Oh, yeah, he went for the Tomahawk. 
up tilt again, but Tag knew better this time. He's not gonna drop that stock so easily the second time. And that's gonna be, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be nice bait. Catching near out of shield with that up B, putting him in a ledge trap position. And that's gonna be, yeah. He actually tried to come back with an up air, and that was greedy. The tag knew it, yep, yep, yep. Putting him off stage and bullying him with those bullets. Yeah, Ike without the double jump, there's just nothing you can do. You can't even air dodge through the bullets because then it's just gonna be too low. You're just dead. Can't do much, yeah. If I was near, I would quit and get one of those awesome Exodus Odd Dog sponsored. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amazing game so far. Amazing games. I mean, Tag has been commanding when it comes to the Bayonetta versus Ike matchup. Like, the, the, don't forget that the first game Nier actually got was on his secondary. So, um, what we're seeing now is Nier struggling uphill. It was like a, a great uphill battle. He's doing great, but, but th that's still uphill. Th this is still very steep for Nier. Yeah, he's finding so many hits, but just not that one last one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and Bayonetta is just great at finding those. And what we've seen is something uh, we haven't seen on the set just yet. Uh, the Witch Time that Tag actually threw a few seconds ago. So that's going to be another factor. He knows that Nia doesn't throw that many moves, so that's a great thing. He's not going to get caught by Witch Time that much. But one of them at a clutch moment is going to mean a lot. Yeah, Witch Time was one of those high risk and even higher reward moves. You want to keep them for when it really matters. Don't tell your opponent anything how you do it and then just throw them out when they least expect it and then get the knockout. Like for, for example, uh, Tag has a good uh, track of the uh, Tomahawk stuff Nier is throwing at him, right? He actually shielded the up shield last time. So now we can actually uh, imagine that if Nier is going for that same stuff, it doesn't adapt, uh, Tag will be able to capitalize well on that with that which time, but near finding that up throw for there, finally getting back into that game, finding the counter, but that's not gonna be enough just yet. Another counter, that's gonna and be an unsackable. Yep, 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 yep. And what? gets the stage spike with the counter. Amazing gameplay by Nier, finally able to find that stock. He's now in the lead against the Tag on Town and City, and that back here will take it. Make me eat my words. Um, try to counter again because of course Bayo's gonna try to go for a punish. But this time Tag just took a little more time, got the punish, and now we are basically back to even, except for a ridiculous tear gap because Ooh, one of them is being Yep, 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 we were talking about tear gaps. Missed the forward air yeah. just by a slight margin. Just like that, near escaping the tear gap. That was the tear gap illustrated right there. Clean chases here from near. He's getting right. something going, 68%, like Tag has to start sweating a little bit now. One more hit and he's mm. gonna be in That up air into side B and again calling out the DI, but Tag not able, but put potentially this time finding it again near SDIing it correctly and able to, to leave it to see another day. All right, now back on stage. And of mm. course I was talking about Bayo getting close to kill percent, but Ike, he's always in kill percent. Absolutely. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be like that with the balloon Oh, Never he mind. gets out of there. What yeah. happened? I have no idea. That up B actually uh, connects him from so high, but the up did not connect. Great SDI went for the side B. Great, great SDI. Uh, Nier is still alive and still making the dream live through his sword. 150, this is scary for both. Oh, that's going to be a forward throw. throw. Yeah, that's gonna forward throw on yes, Town and City is going to take it. And Tag actually makes it to Winners Finals. He's going to join his Parisian fella, uh, Homika, in Winners Finals. Near is going to drop two losers. Still a great, great shot at making it far. Fortunately, uh, unfortunately losing to uh, Tag here in Winners Semi. So he brought well, that, that was exciting. He brought Ike to guaranteed fifth at this tournament so far. It's amazing. Beat some very bad matchups. And even here, like, this could have easily gone the other way. He had, he definitely has what it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely agree. I, I, I believe Nia's gameplay might have been... I'm, I'm conflicted because Nia's gameplay is very passive, right? And that kind of looked rough when it came to getting the kill. The only times he actually got the kills in is when he got proactive and he, he dropped for that tomahawk up tilt and this kind of stuff. 
But again, when you play Ike versus Bayonetta, the only game pl viable gameplay you, you really have to, to play that space back gameplay. You can't really afford to throw hits, you can't really afford to go forward. So, yeah, just looked like a very uphill battle. Very well fought, but too steep for Nia this time. Tag takes it, and we're gonna jump into that loser's uh, semi finals. Is that no, loser's quarters? What is it? Please help me out there. Yeah, let, let's say losers no, round losers six. top eight. Losers, losers round, round five. five. All right, and we are going right. to see the first seed of the tournament, Purple H, playing either Cloud or Bayo. I'm guessing, probably Bayo. Against Bayo, definitely. Generoc, the best Lucas from Italy and probably the best Lucas from all over Europe. Mm. It's such a nice showing as well. We haven't seen him much on stage, but his run is justifying his place on top eight at the moment. Absolutely crushing. Absolutely crushing it here at Exodus. Hope you guys again are having a good time. We're having an amazing time. And we're jumping right into that loser's round five. Kenarok versus Populate on Town and City. All right, the Sour Spot Town Air into so many R pairs already. Kenarok trying to answer that, but Populate has a nice SDI in order to leave that. This is uh this is looking rough at the moment. Genarok is throwing stuff around, but uh, Purple H is falling for none of it. And I love his movement. I love his movement. Oh god, we were talking about oh the bait. Oh, that looked rough. Actually, um. going for the stylish movement, a perfect pivot taunt, and then connecting the limit cross slash. Yeah, that's rough for the mental. Just sending a message out there. And I think that's gonna be a short showing of Genarok's Bayo. I think he knows. Mm, up the into real boy gotta come. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I ex am expecting a, a Lucas for the rest of that set, but for the moment, Kenarok still trying to find his way in. Purple H still having fun with his head. But yeah, Purple H so commanding. He just took as much percent as Kenarok. Plus, he took one more stock. Mm, that's gonna be He's neutral there. More pressure. On this it's gonna be. Well, what's gonna? It's gonna be the mix up. All right, side B a little bit too. Greedy, Purple H actually, actually able to capitalize on that with the jab, the roll call out, putting now Genarok in a difficult spot. You know, you know when Cloud has limits, you are at kill percent and you're at the edge. Even if you're bio, you're sweating. All right, that's gonna be a nice connecting. The up, uh, up B actually connecting with the up here. I think that was the uh, death sentence. That second up B was a death sentence since he could not really afford to SDI up since. Because Bayonet had rage and that was Sunny City, he would have died anyway. And that's the first game. Like he got one roof combo, but after that it was just other oh yeah. than that it was just all purple age all over him. That was a rip. Like the Bayo, it's definitely a good strong Bayo. But Purple Age playing a lot of Bayo himself and Cloud being his main. I think that just ain't quite good enough. It just ain't quite enough. Don't watch me. No, I think Purple H is not willing to drop another set. He's just like most likely frustrated of losing to Tag, Spanganeda. I mean, Tag play amazing, but Invisible Smuff, definitely. But now, yeah, he has to work with that confidence, has to show off a little bit, and um, get Genarok's uh, Bayonetta wasn't on point for that game. And I think I think probably just tested the waters a little bit and then go, went like, yeah, I, I got this. You're never touching me again. All right, but now we're seeing that Lucas. We're seeing that Lucas coming. And he's already doing a lot better. Connecting that side B, putting Purple H, I mean, contesting Purple H's. Oh, and that air dodge was clutch as well. I mean, that was not that dangerous of a, of a neutral B, right? But it is still a lot of damage and stage control loss. That air dodge was clutch. All right, and so now contesting the t stage control uh, from Purple H, but Purple H is uh, actually happy with that. He can actually uh, charge limit from that one, and, and then when he gets that speed boost and those stats boost, really, he uh, he comes back to that game and now now we now we're playing. Oh, but Genrock got something started here. Yeah, his Luke is definitely having a better time. 
And we're on FD, of course, so Lucas' grab is going to be very, very, very dangerous. If he finds one, that's going to be Perplex's primary goal. Ooh. Not to give him a grab. That was scary. I don't, I don't know if you noticed that one, but the down... Down there actually connecting. If that down be connected, that would have been the stock. And such a good comeback. And and, and first stock actually taken by Genarog. This is a complete change, a complete turnaround for Genarog there. Actually got destroyed with his Bayonetta and came back with his mid tier and said, Yeah, you know what? I don't need this. Like, I got this. Actually, Genarog, Genarog is very much in control. Like, yes, he's present at 101, but Purple H never really got a big combo or anything. He's finding a lot of single hits, but nothing that is really like telling us that he's just in Genarok's head, that he knows what Genarok wants to do. And yeah, Genarok's still trying to mm. fish for that, gets up it. smash there, yeah, big range. A hard commit, but with that range, if you have a call out, why not go for it? And um, at, yeah. at, at some kind of point against runaway opponents like that, you have to commit to get uh, a kill, right? And you know, you know your opponent is gonna most likely uh, space back a little bit. You can overshoot your optimal and take that much range. It's not even that much of a commit, to be honest. That was just great. All right, that's gonna be a back throw. Uh, now, Purple H. Popolich offstage. I, I, for a moment, I thought Zenarog was going for the uh, Picky Thunder 2 to, to there. But no, no, nothing too crazy coming from Zenarog. Just grabbing some percents, racking some percent up. And now, now, Popolich on the side of the stage. Zenarog successfully repelling the aggression from Popolich, who has to go in now, finding a backhand, but nothing else. And ooh, I thought he was. Going for another down B there, just going. Oh, and that ledge run back there will spike Purple H, and that's gonna be the first game for Genarog. 1 1. And I think Purple H wanted to drop down and go for a double jump, something. I don't think he wants to hang on the ledge, which is why he was not ready for Genarog also going to the ledge. And when you get ledge jump, you get back there. And when you get back there, you die. That was Clean stuff by Genarog, showing that his Lucas is quite a bit better than his Bayonetta. Oh, yeah, definitely. Getting the game, and that's even now. Can I say that hot, that hot dog is pretty good as well? <laughs> no, dude, don't eat. I need you to commentate. What? <laughs> we're giving the streamer the mic. No, no, no. Let's let's get serious. Esports boys. Esports hot dogs. We're going e for game three on Smashville. And now Lucas is not in the lead anymore. This is not the runaway game anymore. So. I'm very interested to see. I think Purple H just dropped uh, two, two marks at the beginning of the, the last game, right? And now, now it's looking better. And, and at the moment I say this, he loses uh, limits and actually loses the lead as well. Genarok is doing amazing. Ooh, this is going to be a grab, neutral air. Great SDI from uh, Purple H. Just SDIing down that Nair from Luke is just falling out of it. Otherwise, this would have been trouble. Maybe even a kill because Nair, footstool, down air lock. And what comes up scary, with that? Scary, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure Nair Futsal is the thing, but uh, that, that's I'm scary. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah? Nair, Nair Futsal? Double Jump Futsal. Oh, this is amazing. All right. Oh, the side B limits. Genarug being able to escape the setup by the skin of his teeth. However, the percentages are even now with an advantage for Cloud. Oh, and actually... No, 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 okay. Well, couple so will be able, yeah, able to get back. Then uh, abusing the fact that uh, Lucas grab is very slow, able to hit the shield from Genarog and escape the grab with the sour spot. I mean the the, the spot touch. All right, what what do you have, Genarog? What do we, you have? Yeah, he will definitely need to outplay his opponent there in order to get that stock. Cause this is a limit. Clouds with rage. This is very scary, and that's gonna be oh, that's gonna be a grab. Is that's the it. upper gonna connect? Yep, that's gonna be the first stock again for Genarog here. You just shield for one second too long, and that's your stock. And a, a character with the aerial mobility and the air dodge of Lucas that has still a long of longevity left. And on, mm, that's gonna be still a living yep. though. Yeah, yeah. And if he gets one grab, that's gonna be a big combo. You don't want to give him even one of those. 144. 144 and the limits. Those two hits might have not connected, okay. but they, they are, have allowed Cloud to get that limit and to get that kill through that. Very clean stuff by Popolich. 
Uh, amazing, least... amazing neutral B, to be honest. I really did not expect that one. I don't think Genaro did either. Uh, taking his opponent by surprise. And oh, what a smooth movement on the edge by Genaro here. Being able to get back and try to go a little bit too aggro. Not catching Purple H. Uh, off guard. Now able to build up some damage. Is he going to have to tech chase? Nope, but actually able to catch Purple H in the air and get to neutral as the SDI will enable Purple H to get back to neutral game now. And nice, nice spacing on that back air. Uh, allowing him to get that stage control. Now Genarog has to find a way to get back from that platform. Oh, that's going to be the quite grab. a turnaround grab. This is going to... No, I thought... Yeah, I thought Genarog was... Uh, oh, that's going to be neutral into nothing. Clean Things are going again. so fast. This is... This is a scary spot for Genarog now. Oh, very clean, clean. Uh, uh, neutral there. And that's going to be a side B limit, but Genarog is going to live. Very clean. Generic is gonna leave, yeah. Purple H, inwards. Purple H so didn't use uh, the, uh, the down B, so he might actually regret that a lot. Regret that decision. I mean, right now, that's just a down throw up air away for being the potentially second last game of Purple mm. H in this tournament. Absolutely. One grab, Absolutely. one but, but Yeah, yeah, but again, this is uh, also a difficult spot for uh, Lucas. I'm not, I don't think he can afford getting hit by any up air. Even that up tilt might kill now that he has 131% and he's dodged the limit attack from Purple H, able to leave that, connecting the picky fire, but oh, leaving that up here Still again! Alive. Still alive! Is he able to connect another? Oh, okay, 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 Ooh, Purple H it. putting an end to this agony. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a tight, tight game, finding that forward shield in order to clutch that game, but what a resistance from Genarog. Yeah, At any point, he could have just gotten that game with one grab. It yes. was very scary. Very scary stuff. That probably cost Purple H a bit more nerves than he would have liked it to. Uh, let's see if this affects him in game three. But so far, he's playing very, very clean. But General is just, he's so good. He knows the matchup very well. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Like, uh, uh, um, usually, when he, you, you're getting caught off guard by uh, these kind of matchups, the dynamic you can expect is the, the top player is going to adapt and it's going to be harder and harder for Lucas. So the curve of uh, dominance in that game is going in that way so far. So we might expect uh, Purple H to get that, that, that game now. But still, um, I have something that is telling me that there is something else than just matchup knowledge going on here. Uh, Genomark is, is definitely outplaying his opponent on many, many... Uh, many opportunities, and I think we have a character switch. Bayonetta. We are having a Bayonetta H. coming from Purple H to play against that Lucas. Maybe he found that uh, game to be too much of a struggle. As Cloud, he knows he has one game up, so maybe he can afford losing that one. I know that Tena Rock uh, is pretty good at the Bayonetta matchup. He just steamrolled our uh, best Bayonetta here in Switzerland. Kepler, so yes, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what he's going to do against Purple H in that one. Yeah, I think he's not complaining about fighting Bayo. I also know that Lucas kind of does rather well in this matchup, if you compare him to other characters in this matchup. No, absolutely, Beca because he's a, he can be played as a grappler. Exactly. He doesn't need to throw too many moves out, and he can actually abuse the fact that uh, Bayonetta is a fast follower. So that might actually work out, but he's going to need to step up his combo game. So far, Purple H has been able to SDI out of all these nests, and we haven't seen any footstool combo really coming from Genarog. So if he wants to take it home, he's going to need to step it up a bit. Turn it up a notch. Overall, we have not seen a single grab. Purple H playing that anti-grab game very, very well. Amazingly, and just like that, baiting another grab and finding a back air. And another back air. And another one. All right, so that forward air will take Genarog off that platform. And Purple H, yeah. Purple H is just happy to camp that platform now. He has a huge lead. He knows that. Oh, and that's going to be a grab. The first grab of the game. No combo coming out of that grab. And now it's a difficult spot. No, no, okay. The floaty character that is Lucas will allow General to get out of it with uh, combined with some nice Yeah, And that's going to be yep, yep, yep. Sure. We were talking about the fact that you can use him as a grappler. But when you get up close and uh, Bayonetta recognize that, that's going to be a witch time if you t hit any button. All right, that's a neutral error. Very nice DI. Yeah, that's going to be a re-grab. General able to 
hit that for the Putin Popolic off stage and keeping the damage racking with that four there, with that neutral call out. All right, what do we have, Kenarok? That's gonna be a back here on that check on place. Oh, that's another witch time. Oh, another up B. I, I was afraid for a second there. I was afraid. That looked kind of sketchy. All right, very nice. Piki fire on the side, Bayonetta side B. Need some more pressure. Now he needs to find the kill. He definitely needs to find the kill soon because Bayonetta. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. Yep, 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 for sure. Okay, I even thought up throw would kill already. Yeah, 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 that could be. But I thought, I didn't think that that set of the down throw up uh, was connecting so yeah, late. Me neither. That's amazing. This character is actually not a bit here. Holy hell. All right, Genarok, finding a triple jab here. But no combo started just yet. Popple it with some spaghetti, landing with some lag, but able to find the down tilt and take it from there. Yeah, now big lead for Purple H, but Lucas, we know his combo potential this lead can melt away any second as soon as the grab comes. But Purple H playing this very, very well, does not get hit, does not allow anything to happen. Just trying to keep that lead, not risk too much. And I have to say, Spayo is looking clean. Definitely, I definitely. Oh, but that's going to be a grab. No! Genaro going uh, just a little bit too greedy and pummeling thrice. Popolic with amazing reaction time and amazing mash. Gets out of it, denying Genaro's sweet damage that he so desperately needs. And now we are at 139% for Lucas. A rage grab can definitely still, still change a lot, but like Bayo is so good at just spacing aerials, just getting out so many yeah. hitboxes. And the, uh, the aerials, like, when, when Bayonetta wants to play defensive, it's so hard, and... I mean, uh, with Lucas, you don't have that many uh, things to do. You can ca catch Bayonetta jumping up on the rise, but... But doing lag. so, you expose yourself to this kind of stuff. This is going to be a clean back air, clean dominance in the Bayonetta-Lucas matchup for Popple H, who is going to take that home. An amazing performance for our Italian players. Let's get a round of applause for Genarok. Yeah, great for them to show up. Top 8 is definitely an accomplishment. Very well done. And it's not like he was free for Purple H, but he gave even his Bayo a run Ooh, for his money. Yes. Just oh yes, definitely. one more grab. One more grab. Always just one more grab. Just one more grab. But yeah, he was ah, desperate for the, that percentage, which is why he went for the up B to just get a little bit more percent. Yeah. So he gets closer yeah, yeah, yeah. to the kill. Confirm. And that lag was just a tad too much. Unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, waves of the songs. I'm out. Yeah, um, let's go eat something. We have a half hour break on the stream while we play the Sonic Ditto. Um, yeah, we're gonna see Sonic Ditto, waves versus Sonics. Um, the last two Sonics in this top eight, so the only Sonic Ditto in the top eight, if I recall correctly yes I do Okay, the players are getting ready, they are getting comfortable, and they have to get comfortable. Nice. They have to get comfortable because they're probably gonna sit there for quite some time. We all know that Sonic Ditos definitely take their time, especially Waves, who is a very, very defensive Sonic player. He has no stress at all, he's got time all day. Just keep in mind, we want to finish at 5. Don't worry, guys. I just wanted to eat my hot dog off stream, right? 
I mean, also, I tried to run away from that Sonic Ditto, but they didn't let me, so... I just wanted to say, you can't leave me alone when the hardest part comes. Yeah... Yeah, I can. I know you like me too much for that. Please! I'll, 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 please! I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> no, this is way too much. We're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna need some support for that game. We're gonna need some love from the chat. And we are gonna need some love for our last hope here in Switzerland. Silent Gaming waves here on stage to challenge the best Sonic in Germany, Songs. I, I can feel him. I can feel the confidence in, in, in Wilson. Yeah, All right, let's, always let's see. Always uh, taking his time, his confidence. Okay, this, guy, this guy got the Chankla tech, you know? He's got that Brazilian, that Brazilian face uh, and confidence that exudes from him. Like, just like, hello, I'm Latino. But all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to it, guys. Let's get back to it. Just had a chill out, dog. Again, amazing time here at Exodus. I think this is like... by, I would say by a significant margin, this has been the best... The, my favorite event here in Switzerland. Yeah, mine definitely too. And I think we also see the stream showing some love. 150 viewers, that's very high for Swiss standards. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you all tenders. for it, yeah. Thank you very much for it. coming from all over Europe, from down to the south. People were coming from Greece, up high to the north, all over Scandinavia. Everyone is here to see some hype. Sonic Dittos, and that's the lead for Sonics. Did you just say hype Sonic Dittos? Yeah, don't you see? <laughs> this <laughs> nice <just> gameplay, <laughs> like... <laughs> this is amazing gameplay. This is amazing gameplay. Sonic in the lead, 67%. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna need to turn it up just a notch. All right, that's a three percent. This is the comeback, boys. We're starting to get something going there. Twenty six percent now. Twenty six percent. I ha I have no idea how to commentate that. What is this? What um, is this? They're pressing the B button and okay. either down or the side, oh, and then okay. they're trying to hit each other or trying to punish the other guy doing the same thing. What is punish? This guy is just running through each other, uh, and, 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 and either that hits, either that not hits, but hit, they, they, they're not getting punished. Yeah. Either they hit or they don't. But Sonic, like what I'm seeing, Sonic is playing better because you know those percentage at the bottom means how much you got hit. 87 oh, really? percentage. Okay. Yes, that means Waves has gotten hit more than Sonic, so Sonic is winning. So 87 is like four four B buttons, right? Four four or five B buttons. Yeah, if you add the combo afterwards, yeah, more or less. Oh, that's another B button for Waves. <laughs> ah, that's gonna be a B button for Sonic. Oh, he tries to go for a read. Oh, what a mix I up! Didn't know what, what a mix up that. B button! I love it, like uh, the thing that goes straight to the face of the other guy. Damn! All right, and that B button's gonna get shielded, and the B button connecting for Waves, and again and again. Why isn't the damage going up for Waze? You mean his damage or Sonic's damage? Sonic! Because they're hitting him. Uh, it looks like uh, so Wait, Waze's B buttons aren't working that well. Yeah, maybe he has to get a new controller so his Sonic works again. Might need to. We, mo we, we might need to ask the TO to get that thing fixed. Make Sonic make some damage, please. Alright. Gonna be a neutral B. And the dash attack. Everything looks the same. This is terrible. Everything is just a blue ball. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I feel like a stock dropping would be very well for this match here. So it would. So the player that does not have to lead would have to pick up the, the pace a little bit. Oh, and that's gonna and be the it. first stock. That wasn't a B button. I'm so glad. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm that's so why glad. I took the stock. You know, that's you gotta mix it up. All right, and now Waves trying to find his way to kill, trying to get a forward smash in there. Maybe too random, fortunately. Not gonna take it just yet. Again, Waves, some B button pressure. But yeah, Sonix is just not getting hit at all. Like he already has 51%, that's like two bit B buttons on Waves again. But he's mm. still at 100. Mm. That spin dash into neutral makes so much damage. Waves cannot afford to get hit by that too much. Has to find his way in, really. Sonic seems to be much more comfortable in the matchup. Right, Sonic's finding the forward air, pressuring him off stage. Yep, he went straight for that reversal back air coming out of the up B. 
Fortunately, not taking it just yet. And what a lead, 82% and seating at a comfortable 108%. This is uh, at a at a read kill percent, not just a comfortable kill percent for all raids just yet. Yeah. Ward smash, shielded a bit. And another one. And another one. We're gonna see so many slaps thrown around. This is Slap City. And that's another not key button getting sun uh, waves off stage. Alright, waves trying to cover the B buttons but couldn't. It's gonna be one B button versus two Sonic wins. Gonna be a back throw for Sonics. <laughs> All right, landing up here, wave still not able to find that. But that's <laughs> that, not that button, that back throw. Holy <laughs> Thanks for carrying, Smuff. Thank you very much. You're, well, you're very welcome. This is fascinating. All right, up throw, not gonna take it just yet. And yeah, only one minute left, so that's the maximum <laughs> amount of time we're gonna mm. I love spend the, here. I, I love the way uh, that Sonic denies back throws uh, from waves with the B button. All right, no back here just yet. Still not, that's gonna be an up throw, and that's gonna be a two stock for Songs. What a yeah. nice, nice gameplay. <laughs> This is this is strangely fascinating. You and know, Sonic's won by two stocks. Songs, songs, songs even songs, though they did the songs. same thing, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> but he did the same yeah, thing. He, he but pressed much the B button. Yeah, and more, more. He just pressed. He William, got grabs. He got press grabs. B more. He's pressing more than you. That's why he's winning. I swear. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, let's not coach the players. Never mind. Everyone just press more B. But you press know, more the B. crucial points really were. That C, that few C button presses. Yeah, yeah, might be, might be. Mm. I actually saw some. I, I don't know why he actually like he, he threw some smashes and stuff. Why would you do that? Like, uh, yeah, they don't hit anyways. Just, no, they don't They're do too it. fast. I don't know. Not the too smashes, fast, the man. players. They're just too fast. They're not where you want them. Nope. You want to press B, man. And some C stick sometimes. I just like in that direction. And we jump in. No. <laughs> Into the next five minutes oh. of blue balls running around. Uh, and just to make sure there's no exciting stuff going on, we are on final destination. <laughs> just to make sure, you know, if the, if the, if the set was too hype, we yeah, you're the, you gotta keep it at the clean B buttons. <laughs> we don't need like platform movement. We don't need extensions. We just want we, we want to have those clean raw. Yeah, man, B we want uh, blue balls B buttons. That's all we want to see here at Exodus. These boys is the climax of the tunnel. No, it's only losers for bait. No, this is definitely the climax though. Thank God, the last Sonic return graphics. Those are the last two mm, Sonics. And that slap connecting! Finally! Finally connecting something else. But Sonics is playing way, way, way safer than I expected. And, and, and finding a way to push waves into... Yeah, yeah. Oh God, that's a 5% versus 96. Such a hard... Hard deficit for for waves. Beat mentally or in game, really. He's, he's not used to playing against other Sonic players that can. So. F smash and some suspect DI is gonna speed up this match. A full stock lead for Sonics right now. Damn. Now he can press a lot more of the R and L buttons interrupting his own B button because he can just wait. If he waits, he wins. And he's gonna be a ball butt. Hey, the B button from Sonic actually catching a like, song. I think I'm that was sorry. an A button, wasn't Fair. it? I'm sorry? Wasn't that an air? I don't think so. No, that's because... Yeah, the things that connect are not... Oh, okay, that back air connected though. Oh, amazing. Yeah, waves already at 67%. Oh, finding an up uh, on Songs right there. Able to get, grab some more damage, but still, this is a huge deficit. Yeah, some kind of read on that spot dodge, unfortunately not connecting that forward smash. And now back to the B button. All right, that was, okay. Now we're getting concept. original, yep. Interesting concept with that up uh, by, uh, allowing him to get that forward going. Yeah, and we'll need to get creative because he doesn't mm. have a lot of 
Like he has a lot of time left here in the half Did minutes. you see how he pressed that B button there? That was amazing. He actually got... Oh, and, and that kind of slap we were read. talking about. All right, all right. Finally connecting the good stuff. Wave is back in the game, boys. 73% is a lot in a Sonic Ditto. But definitely not too much because we still have half of the game left. Oh, Three minutes. minutes. All right, nice jab. Catching Songs down air landing. Songs now back to the B button. Waves with some of his own. Going through waves. Going back for the down air. Now connecting the spin dash with an up and not, not gonna kill just yet. Fortunately, Waves releasing his spin dash just a bit too late. Uh, he's not gonna connect the rest of the hits. That's not damage he's, not, he's looking for. Yeah, and in the two minutes since I've lost, looked at the clock, only 30 seconds have passed. Jesus Christ. All right, but speed button into up there. close to the kill. Now the dash attack from Songs actually connecting somehow. Oh, wait, what a wait, a what a wait. Was no rage, so it doesn't kill yet, but... Well, there's gonna be a back here to some pressure for Waves, but not able to capitalize much on that. Escaping Songs. Uh, ground, uh, ground game trap. All right. What do we have, Waves? What can we expect from the best Sonic player in Switzerland? Going a little bit greedy now, coming back on stage with those unsafe neutralizing stuff. Not getting punished for it, because I, I, I guess it's so hard to keep track of what's going on against the opponent when you're playing a Sonic Ditto. What is B, what is A, I mean. Yeah, and whenever they hit the shield, they just safely go for the up B, retreat into the air. Or to the edge, just like that. Just don't get hit. Especially for Sonics, don't get hit. Only one minute and ten seconds. All right, that's gonna be a nice B into upper. He tried to find an aerial treat there and get a early, get an early kill, but he doesn't quite get it. One hundred and seventy-six percent on waves. He needs to find the stock in the next fifty-two seconds. Otherwise, this is gonna be two zero for Sonic. Mm, this is hard. This is hard. We can actually expect uh, something going on. As in, yep, 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 yep. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Kepler just cursed. Yeah. Kepler, Kepler just shouted, just let's go waves. And Tonix wa was like, yeah, I'm going to show you which way to go. And um, that was awkward. Stage. That was awkward. Please, Kepler, get out of the room. No, you're, you're cursing our, our, our player, man. That's a 2 0. All right. All right. I'm glad we actually saw some A button now. We're seeing some A button. Well, they are mixing up very well. Like this one is B, the other one. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good, man. Let's go, Will. I want to see some. <laughs> I was going to say Sonic Hype. Oh, this is hype. Someone just posted in the chat. Do we have a reverse 3 0 incoming? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> please no. Please no. I mean, I mean, I'm enjoying this, but, but there's a point. Are you, really? <laughs> Are you really? Are you really? Let me pretend. <laughs> Let me pretend. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now waves finally able to find some damage at the beginning of the game. So that's good. That's good. That looks a little bit more like balance already. And now wow. waves in the lead. That was in the whole 12 minutes of games we have seen so far. Waves haven't been in the lead. So this is significant. This is it's in the play style. This is the reverse 3-0, boys. This is the 35 minute set we've been looking for. I thought you wanted to say some more because it would talk some more time, but yeah, um, Waves being one of the most campiest Sonics, he's just gonna wait out his lead. He has no reason to do anything else. Yeah, and now he's the one denying reverse grabs with uh, the neutral B, right? Yeah. yeah it looks like uh, the dynamic here is the first that gets the lead gets to deny everything from the oppo every approach from the opponent. So this is this is a huge step for Waves, really. All right. Yeah, Sonic's trying to keep it close. Also has 70 damage on Will. He just tr he tried to find some early kills with up air. Tries to 
denies um, the first stock for waves because as, as long as the stock is not gone, the, um, the gap is not too big. But as soon as the stock is gone, you gotta find a strong hit, not just B, and that's hard. Absolutely, and uh, at this percent we can even expect, I, I believe Songs has more setups to kill than Waves. Waves needs to find a stray hit or a... Back oh, throw. that's good. Yeah, back throw just like that. And now we have Waves in a stock lead. This is a complete reversal of situation from what we've seen. The amazing adaptation. Can Songs make it back? Yeah, 80% on... Uh -huh. 100%, now it's dangerous, 80% wasn't too bad, but now a slap is definitely gonna kill him. And would render this back even. Songs pressing B, trying to get back into the game. Waves actually connecting his B. Telling Songs, I am the real Sonic. You can see both players very focused on Mashing that button. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna escape that up smash. Sonic somehow able to react to it directly and, and getting that throw. All right, Waves, pushing his lead as far as possible. Finally, Sonic is. Oh, that's gonna be a, yeah, that's gonna be a missed attack by Waves, and we're back to a uh, one stock game. Waves is going for the spring ride right, for the spring, even though he knows he's dead already. Just you know, two seconds more. No, that, that's an opportunity to press B button. I would go for it too. Yeah, and as I said, it's two seconds more. Maybe this will decide, but probably not. Two and a half minutes left. This might go to timer, but not necessarily. If Waves gets some openings. Can Waves press the B button? Can he hit while pressing the B button? Oh, they need to hit? I guess so. Oh, that's gonna be a slap if forward smash for Waves. Sonic's in a difficult spot. All right. Found a way to dodge Waves spring though. What the fuck? <laughs> Berkburg doing his best to make this match more interesting. Thank you very much. Please don't. Making small curse on, on stream. <laughs> Let's fucking go. What, what's that? A freshener on my ass? What? Don't do that anymore, please. <laughs> Smuff actually liked it. He just no, can't say it. <laughs> don't say it, don't. It was just, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, me too. Ooh, All and right. in the meanwhile, yeah, Sonic's back something uh, started. He's not out of this yet. He's still got one and a half minutes mm -hmm. time. And we're back in the same situation as we saw in the first talk, right? And the back here is going to connect it. That's a 2-1 for our... Yeah, that's the beginning well, of the reverse yep, video. Yep, yep. Actually, you know, I was starting to shout the hype and stuff, and I realized, holy shit, more of that. <laughs> more and more I was actually saying it. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I, I was I, like, I'm obviously yes, just waves, kidding. but we're, no. I, I'm obviously just kidding, man. I'm very glad to see my Swiss player, my Swiss boy, doing it well. Actually, uh, finding a way to adapt to Songs. I'm interested to see if Songs is uh, going to be able to adapt back. So far, it hasn't looked like it. Like, from the end of Game 2 to Game 3 at the moment, it's been all waves. Yeah, but then again, that's just the power of a lead in a Sonic title. Um, oh, well, it's that's... But I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it only on that. Waves wasn't able to touch his opponent for the two first games. So now he's actually not only able to press the B button, but he actually hits them too. That seems amazing. We see something something different. We're going to Smashville. We have a platform now. Oh, this is exciting. And less space, so they might want to press the B button more often. All right, nice B button from Sonics. So being able to combo it into an A button. 44%. And yeah, Sonic has to lead again this time. Let's see how this works out for Waves, if he can find something, or if is, if, if Sonic is just gonna run away with what he did in the first 30 seconds and just wait after that. All right, nice jab combo, catching Sonic off guard right there. Dude, I, uh, we need we need to get up from those sorry from those chairs. I I can't stand that. This is too exciting. I can't. You I, can't I'm, I'm, I'm stand you know, it. sitting up. <laughs> All 
All right, that's a nice... Well, yeah, sorry. This is a nice way to get back into that game. Um, B button into A button in the back of... Uh, the character is going to do a lot of damage. It's going to carry him back into that game. And again, same one, but into neutral air this time. Nair from Sonic does so much damage. Absolutely. It just like hits and you're like bam, bam, bam and 30 damage. 30 damage. That hurts exactly. so much. Yeah. Like oh if you're going to press an A button, press when that one that does something. And the Nair that is... That is definitely a something. an effective way to rack up damage for sure. You know what? Sonic has an answer to that. He has an other effective way to rack up damage. It's called B. Actually making it work again and again and again in that matchup, finding the right way to be. He knows the place to be. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, we have a clutch moment at the moment. The moment with uh, both players at skill percent ish. This first stock is gonna determine a lot. It's gonna matter a lot in the set. Oh, and. Avoiding that back throw from the side of Smashville by the skin of his teeth, but that's going to be a neutral B into up air. That's been that up air is so effective at catching those stocks. And, and now, now, in a yeah, now Waves is in the bad spot, right? This is the potentially lost Swiss stock in this bracket. About to be all foreign players here. Will just hanging on, but he has to find a kill quick. Timer still generous, a little bit more than three minutes. But Sonics is just he's he's running, he's pressing B and he's pressing G. I love the way he presses B. I guess so. That's such a unique way to press B. Now waves, yeah, I was I saw that one coming from so far away. Finally, we're able to pump some pressure to ledge trap uh, his opponent. But Sonics is going to find... All right, only 11%. He really needs to to take care of that stock. Waves cannot afford getting hit by so much damage. Because then, even though he actually gets the, uh, the, the stock, he's still in that same bad spot. The clock is running out. He cannot afford to get hit too much. Oh, the tension, I can feel it. They haven't really been hitting each other for a hot minute now. We're coming down with the Nair. Just a little bit more damage on Sonic's getting closer to that back throw kill percent all over stage. I think I think we should implement a elevator's music whenever there is a Sonic game like Whenever both players pick Sonic, you'll have a little bit of music Ooh, going but on. Oh, now that's going to be a back throw. Almost even. Just one Ooh. B into A. <laughs> Separating the two. B to A combo. The famous one. All right. Waves finding a grab there. Overshooting it just a bit so that he can catch a Sonic trying to uh, spin dash cancel there. Yeah, I don't remember the last time Sonics has actually been hitting mm. waves with And that's an even hit. game. That's an even game. Now he cannot. All right, all right. That was, there are some dabs. But I mean, we're back to an even game, in, and uh, Sonics cannot just run away uh, for that minutes and 15 seconds. But, but waves is going just a little bit too ham there. And Sonics is able to. Sonics is able to grab some more damage. Only one minute left on the clock. This is a dangerous spot. Are we going to see that Rebirth 3-0 or are Sweet Dreams gonna get crushed in that Oh god! In that neutral B off stage? No. All good there. Sonics, uh, yeah, racking up more and more damage. 45 seconds on the clock. This is actually tense moment for a silent gaming player. He needs to get in. He needs to gra grab some damage. And that's gonna be a one up uh, into nothing. Summer spot neutral uh, connecting for Sonics and that back here too. Not gonna kill, but 30 33 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and 28 dam damage percent separating the two. Right now, every single hit counts. That's a back throw. Yeah, that's gonna be a back throw. Even 20 more seconds to get that hard. one. He has to he has to get a hard read. He needs a hard read there to actually get back into the game. That's gonna be a dash attack. Surprising one might actually put. Uh, Oh, that, that might actually put Sonics in a bad enough spot to get a hard read going. But only five seconds on the clock. 
Waves is gonna give up. This is the win for Sonics. A round of applause for the amazing B Masher. Thank God that this, this didn't go to time, otherwise we would have been sitting here forever. Jesus. Will saving us, saving those five seconds. We got the last Sonic data of the bracket over with. Congrats to Will for Congrats getting seven. And yeah, Best obviously Swiss representative. Guys. I am I'm a little bit sad, obviously. We guys couldn't defend our uh, our country there. Destiny not there to show these guys what's up either. But man, did we have some nice showing, right? I'm 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 just loving the fact that uh, we've had so much diversity of characters coming here. We have so many good Switzerland players coming up as well. We have Benji, we have uh, Crazy Shroom stacking up as well. Uh, uh, we have Mirakuru going uh, quite far. We have the Seekers Fox in Zurich uh, <laughs> actually stepping it up as well. I'm so mad still. <laughs> You're so I got mad so still. close. Yeah, I get you. It hurts so much. I get you. I'm, I'm still mad too. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I just witnessed uh, the best set ever, so I'm kind of, you know, I feel better. But now. I think we have spent enough time on this set and we can slowly but surely transition to the oh next God. one. We're gonna see no Sonic, but a Diddy Kong from Lancelot versus the either Cloud or Bayo, I am guessing, from Purple Age. That's gonna be an interesting one. Very interesting one. All right, this is loses, so that means Lancelot actually dropped the game to Homika. Purple Age surprisingly dropping the set to tag. And yeah, he's basically the gatekeeper here. He's like, he's, I it's can see in guy. the eyes, he's going to go on the rampage in Losers, just not letting anyone get he in his way. He definitely yeah. wants to win. Like, he's the first seed. He's in Losers now. He's going to try to power up, get everything he can. Germany. Not joking around anymore. Just going for the cloud, not even trying the Bayo. Uh, going for the cloud right away? Ah, yeah, looks like it, definitely. Makes sense for City Kong. I mean, he can definitely get gimped, but... Diddy Kong is one of the only characters that is effective against Bayo in a honest manner. As, yeah. in, as in, there are some effective characters, but are still struggling uh, against Bayonetta's strength. Diddy Kong can actually challenge Bayonetta in the fact that he has such a good neutral that he can go even against her. All right, just take a five seconds uh, break in order to get some water. I need some. So we are jumping into the first game, Battlefield, a lot of space for both players. Diddy Kong versus Cloud, a very, very classic matchup here in Smash 4. Cloud just starts, of course, by limit camping a little bit on the top platform. No percents taken so far. Lancelot just trying to space with his, ar with his aerials, get some single hits. Going for the banana. Trying to set up his neutral. Purple H gets a few stray hits, but nothing big so far. 20%, that's not much. Ooh, clean F throw to triple back air. That's 40% after covering the normal uh, the attack get up from Purple H. 53%, that's a very decent lead on Cloud. Clean get up read. Ooh. Tries to down smash him at the ledge. Yeah, I'm coming back. Get off his limit. Coming back into that game, and I'm seeing already such a such a clean gameplay and such a tight gameplay as well. That down smash almost connected from Lancelot and a purple H a micro spacing it so that the neutral uh, gets him away from that spot. All right, interesting one. All right, decided to ju jump, wall jump on that one. Try to catch Lancelot off guard. But since Lancelot didn't go, didn't fall for it, he got himself into a difficult spot. Ooh, and Lancelot messed up there, I believe. He really should have gotten that stock there. Um, Purple H was off stage without, uh, he, without his limit, couldn't really recover. All right, that's gonna be the first stock for Lancelot. Interesting dynamic here. I wasn't expecting Lancelot to do so good against Purple H's Cloud, but he's definitely not only winning, but uh, but dominating it person-wise here. I'm interested to see how... 
I'm interested to see how properly it's going to answer that deficit. Oh, nice neutral air. Actually catching Lancelot, but that's going to be a two frame. So Lancelot gets his uh, double jump back. Very nice read on the on the tech. One down tilt, but nothing else connecting. But the limit is gone. I think Purple H went a bit greedy there in order to get that stock as quick as possible. All right, interesting uh, way to Kimp Diddy Kong. Unfortunately, not connecting just yet. Yeah. I think, yeah, now what we're seeing is... Uh, Purple H trying to bait Lancelot into into hitting his shield. We were talking about the fact that uh, Purple H is able to reliably shield drop, which means shield drop up air is an option for him. And shield drop so up strong. air is yeah, he can punish whatever, whatever really. Yeah. Just like you hit your shield, his shield, you're, you're gonna eat one. That's gonna be one stock for Purple H though. though back to an even stock, but what a deficit in percent for Purple H. Yeah, Lancelot is doing very very clean. Amazing. Amazing stuff from Lancelot. Not quite kill percent on Purple H yet, but we are getting there. Move forward again to get out of these combos, and now Purple H has the banana, but Lancelot has none of it. Oh, there's gonna be a down B, not connecting! Just not connecting, barely. I that would have been a start. Killed. No, you didn't think so, no. because that's so much rage. That could have been it. Yeah, but Diddy Kong is not the. Um, Lightest of characters and that's true, that's true. high. Mm. Only 55 to 60 percent. Oh, that's gonna be the up smash! All right, Hold both players. Both players actually speeding up, taking decisions over decisions again and again. So fast in the last five seconds, and Lancelot is act actually able to read all of that and catch the jump with that up smash. Amazing performance for Lancelot. <laughs> Are you watching yourself in the camera? Sure. <laughs> Gotta see Christ. some sick dudes. <laughs> sick foxes, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Well, all right. Well, this is a surprising performance. Yeah, this, that was uh, convincing this is great. game one. This He's is playing great. great. Definitely. He's Purple H, himself. who came in saying that he was afraid of nobody, is actually uh, losing. Well, he actually lost in winners. He said, and now losing the first talk to Lancelot. We are seeing the switch right straight to Bayonetta. Uh, Purple H is a resourceful man, resourceful player. He actually has uh, quite a few sleep, uh, tricks up his sleeves. Now we can expect a different game for sure. Of course, if the cloud doesn't work, he's gonna take out his other option, which is another very, very strong one, Bayonetta. Probably the best character in the game. But as we said before, Diddy Kong is a character who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bayo. One of the few in the game. Absolutely, absolutely. But he's supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in, in neutral gaming. This is not looking very well for Lancelot at the moment. The neutral game is not being won, and the damage is in the campus side. Yeah. Oh, what a shield! What a shield! Just Somehow. Just it in time. Jeez. That Excellent. was actually a power shield on down tilt, so just a few frames later, and he would have died. Still alive. Very clutch shield. Somehow still alive, trying to uh, cross up his opponent there. Uh, actually, I think he had the, 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 the good read, but didn't capitalize on it in, in, in a guaranteed manner. Went for the greedy option, but Purple H was too aware of what was going on. Able to get a perfect shield that puts Lancelot in a difficult spot there. Alright, that's gonna be a, a, yeah, that's gonna be a banana toss. No tripping though, so... He went for a, a tomahawk. Quick reaction by Lancelot. Oh, and that's going to be a perfect pivot taunt by Purple H, feeling himself again. We know what happened last time he taunted, though. Oh, that's... Oh. That looks scary. He that's going to be an upper into the upper, and no kill just yet. Great DI. Absolutely. Town and City plus Rage oh. look very scary. Again, that banana into up smash looking scary. Lancelot definitely not happy about that one. That would have been the clean KO. Oh, that's going to be the However, upper he clean still gets KO. Without taking more percent. And now he's in the lead again, 140, definitely in kill percent, but how much more can he get here before he has to drop his stock? He's if he has to yeah, drop his stock. Absolutely, very nice shield by Lancelot on that RB, respecting everything Purple H is throwing at him so far, but respecting Bayonetta very well. All right, it's gonna be forward air putting Lancelot in a tech chase position, but now reversal of situation, Lancelot finding the tech chase himself. And this is so much damage. This is a taunt to get body combos, boys. Yeah, 
Lancelot only took 3% after taking the stock off of Purple Age. Purple Age oh, that's going, going yeah. but yeah. that's Sour stock. spots, up shields into Alpha is a true combo. Well, basically anything Bayonetta throws into Alpha is a combo at some point. So that's going to kill Lancelot's first stock in that uh, second game. Let's see how he answers to that. That's going to be an up here. More damage. And we are now in the... Oh, we are now in the dangerous zone. That's a combo. That's oh, Ooh, very nice, nice down. Yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. falls out of there. Oh, misses the grab for That's the gonna punish. That's going to be another, another one. It's going to be another one. But again and again, I think Lancelot is just SDIing very hard down. He just don't want to get roofed. And he doesn't care about the damage he's going to get hit by. But he doesn't want to get roofed. Which is very understandable in that situation. Town and City. Bayonetta with Rage. And that is that going to be a gift? No, not just yet. He saved his chump. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, I thought that was going to be an up smash. Very, very scary situation. That's an up B into two side Bs. But no kill coming out of those. We're back to an even game. That's going to be... Yeah, a witch time into... No! Into Woo! an up smash with... Into nothing! Jesus Christ, what a Still spaghetti alive. move. Donkey <laughs> <laughs> Kank cannot believe his eyes. That's going to be a forward throw. Very tight, tight spots here for Lancelot. Very nice tech against Clutch Moment, Clutch Factor coming out of the Finnish player. And that's going to be an up smash. The first hit connected, but not the rest. The down tier is going to be countered by the up B and the side and he B. He the up he the down, he does up kick. And that's going to be an up smash and the two zero How does he do it? Lancelot, He's getting so much out of his stocks. He's always living to 150, 140, 160. Always alive for so long. Purple Age uh, on the brink wow. of being eliminated. Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed. So much happening in those last few seconds. Absolutely. I'm I'm I am so very impressed by Lancelot at the moment. That's a 2-0 situation. Purple Age got hit by the taunt to get bodied combo. Difficult spot, still uh, very doable uh, for a top player at Purple Ages caliber. But uh, I think everybody wants to see another dog story going on. Everybody wants to see the Finnish player coming out of the shadows and, so and eliminating the number one seed of the tournament. Yeah, that would be actually a huge upset. I mean, as we said, Purple Age came here to win this. He's not going to be happy if he loses this. But Lancelot is playing so well. He's getting all those hits. And the main Jeez. thing, as I said, he's, he's just those living. Yeah, yeah. And those four others. He connects him so well to rack up those damage. And again, and again, and again. This is like at least his fifth forward air of the start. Yeah. A down throw combo into back air. Classic one. No banana throw. Respecting, again, respecting Bayonetta's up close tools. This is very important as well. Yeah, 98 percent on Bayonetta already again. And Ooh, and that almost that almost connected. I believe that forward smash with that little bit of charge could have been uh, the death sentence for Popolage. But now with some combos of his own, second side B not connecting. The first one with the up B as well. He's going to be able to connect the other one, but Lancelot uh, able to SDI out of it. And now in... Uh, now in a banana. lead, and actually a stock lead, and only 86%. This is an amazing spot to be in for the Finnish player. He's actually pulling off the upset here at Exodus. All right. That offer will actually catch Lancelot and keep... Uh, oh, I was very interested in that mix-up as well. Lancelot just chooses to respect everything. He just doesn't want to lose his stock. He's not going too aggressive. Double air dodge will make him... Purple H will make him pay with a down to up air. It's going to be a, another forward throw. Lancelot leaving still, but uh, yeah, this is the next stock he gets. Oh, into yep, yep, 150%, yep. 162. Didn't quite get too much going anymore, but 50% lead. That's not big because it's a Bayo, but still it's a lead. Diddy Kong is a great character to play defensive with. He just has to pull through in this mm. game. Gets another grab, more percent. Mm. Purple and what H he is needs, yeah. Uh, yeah, Purple H is, uh, is in a bad spot at the moment. This is, must be very stressful for the top player. 
here, yeah, he needs what, to be what, yeah, whatever he, uh, Lancelot needs here is to connect one or two bananas, connect one or two down tilts, and that's gonna be it. All right, that's gonna be a jab combo, 111%. Now the down tilt, not uh, to up smash combo, is definitely going to kill. And that's gonna be down. Oh, oh down tilt and up smash, and the other one is both of them. Oh, but yes, purple H actually will go for the down air buffer, and that's gonna be a clean 3 0 oh, for Lancelot. What an upset! A round of applause for. Our German player, Popple H, going out here at Losers Round 5. Losers Quarters, of course. Fifth place, he's not happy with that. Great showing still. And Lancelot moving on. Obviously not happy with what just happened. Uh, it seemed that uh, it was a very difficult one here. Lancelot playing so clean and I think he was so prepared for that matchup as well. He definitely showed up. So, uh, well, very impressed by both players. Our number one seed here in, uh, in uh, Exodus is out. Upset by Tag, the French uh, Bayonetta player. And uh, Luigi, who said Luigi? Who said Luigi? Some guy that's Where was your Luigi tournament? there? <laughs> Every time you pick Luigi in the... In <laughs> later? Later? All right, but we're gonna he's catch a break. He's just using Bayo yeah? for Luigi's not so good matchups. Yeah, so he's using Bayo. That's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. That's what I said. Right. Or maybe not what I meant. <laughs> All right, boys. We're gonna catch another 45 minutes break. Is it 45 minutes with this one, or? Yeah. Did you just say we're gonna have a break? A half break yeah. are coming up. Because never the mind. Next never match mind. All right. It's gonna be two German players faced against each other. SG Near versus SG Songs. Songs. All right, two strong players coming straight from Germany into top eight. Sonic against Ike, a matchup we've seen before. Oh, many times here in Switzerland. We had uh, Radiance versus Waves so many times. I think the set count was like 7 0 for Ike, for Radiance in that uh, setup. I'm very interested to see what uh, Songs has to an has like an, as an answer for Ike. I think that the matchup should be in Sonic's favor, but but Ike has enough tools, reliable tools, to just deny the air control uh, for Sonic. And one thing we definitely have to keep in mind is those two players, they know each other. They know each other very well. There's going to be layers upon layers of mind games. Absolutely. Just maybe they'll try to pull out some new stuff that the other does not know yet, but like that's hard but because they but play so yeah. much. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. You're going to see both. Two players, two friends in the zone, in the zone, a heartbreaker trying to fight each other, trying to beat each other out there. Trying to make a run for themselves into that Exodus top eight. Both both of them are in losers, right? Alright, we have uh, some kind of request from Nia. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully, again, you're enjoying this stream. I definitely am. The Sonic details are over. Stay tuned for the next game between... <laughs> Actually, the streamer is so glad. He's even more glad than the commentators that he's enjoying. <laughs> oh, God. No, I, I think everybody's glad for that. And now we're going to have... Gonna <laughs> All right. Silent Gaming Waves has something to say about Sonic details. Yeah, we really don't. Oh, yeah, we really don't. <laughs> we really don't. We, I've never seen one. Who, who could I say? I mean, I mean, who could I say they're not? Jesus Christ. That was poetic. Yeah, that's still bullshit. The problem, is, the problem is, we mortals, we only have a limited amount of time in our lives. In the limited uh, <laughs> capacity to tolerate yeah, only Sonic one B button on the controller. <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have okay. next game very soon, guys. Sonic's songs jumping on stage. Gonna be player one there. Do we have a near? We have a near on stage as well. Near very proficient. Ike main. The, he is basically the, the the most defensive player I've I've played in my entire career. I mean, Waves okay. is rather defensive as well, but in another. Dimension, right? He's just abusing Sonic's uh, 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 strength. But near, 
he's no near his defensive he's just gonna space back all the time trying to find those turnaround grabs and capitalize on on the only strength he has in the matchups really as Ike just trying to get the grabs right trying to get the off tilts trying to read and and make the opponent overextend and as we see he just does not overextend himself ever yeah and so far as we saw it's been working out very well he beat Hachion in the same matchup and only oh, he actually beat him yeah in winners amazing winners round one or two. And, and, and Hedgeon two. has a lot of experience with Ryuji, who exactly. is the best egg in France. So he got amazing stuff. Yeah, he got three. Oh, Jesus! If Christ. I recall correctly, Mir has something to say about the matchup. Exactly. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I, I am predicting some turnaround grabs as an answer for spin dash, but I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. That's something he used a lot. I mean, that's something Crash as Bowser used a lot against, uh, who was it, Sonics or Waves? I'm not sure anymore. I think he played Lunar on stream. Oh, Lunar, never mind, yeah, yeah. Totally makes sense. And, well, it doesn't look like it, but Ike's turnaround grab is huge as well. So this, this kind of same answer could be applied. And, and well, I've seen him hit them quite a lot, so why not, why not? Players on stage are still having a short chat. We're about to jump into the match, though. Can we have a Sonic Tito uh, in the meantime? Before the match. Um, no, we can't because we have to finish at 5. Oh, please. Fuck. <laughs> All right, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump right into it. What what round is it from losers? I'm sorry. Qu loser squatters. Losers. Second loser squatters. Yeah, second loser squatters. Near SJ Near versus SJ Songs. I'm gonna jump right into it. Can, can we jump right into it already? Can we? Yeah, we are playing for the last spot in top four at the at Exodus. All right, so now we're jumping right into it. Finally, finally on Smashville, small stage. Uh, I expect Nier to do good in that one, in that aspect. Uh, Son uh, Songs doesn't have that much room to breathe in that. Now, e even on the edge, like uh, Ike can actually cover half of the stage just with his sword and, and some jumps. When you're uh, off stage, this is very, very hard to come back from. All right, so that's gonna be neutral into back here. Clean stuff from Nier. Clean damage so far, okay. Sonic's uh, finding a way to get back onto the stage, going aggressive with that forwarder, but another forwarder answer from Nia will take it to 68%. And what a clean punish as well. I didn't, I didn't know this yeah. was punishable. Mm -mm. And me neither. But, but of but course, Sonic knows the match very well. He's going to punish everything he gets, but so will Nier. And Nier's punishes, usually they hit quite a bit harder, because you know he has a, he has a sword. Sonic's doesn't. Almost gets the forward there. Another jab. Those jabs are working out so well. They already did in all the matches I saw. Jab from Ike, a very quick option. And jab 3 is huge. Absolutely, and something interesting with with uh, Ike's jab is that he's very, it's very re reliable as well. It beats out so many moves. It's one of the only jabs that actually connects every time and takes so much space. So, yep, reliable tool to beat Spin Dash for sure. Uh, that's a spin dash on his shield. Sonic's going for the weird stuff, just running, uh, spin dashing through near, and then running through him again, trying to roll a back uh, to read a back roll or something like that. All right, that's gonna be a punish. Nope, nope, no punish coming out for near. And this is uh, oh, that's gonna be an up tilt, and of course, 121 rage up tilts on Sonic is gonna kill. Yeah, right. Ike with the lead now. Rage Ike, scary to face off. Sonic is gonna wanna have, to, gonna wanna take this dock off. He has to make something happen. But that's hard because we saw Nier's defensive cap capabilities with that jab beating out everything. Pivot grabs to get just 20, 30 damage. And he's he's just not getting hit. And that's a back throw, but Ike's heavy. He's so fat, man. No it's rage is not gonna, yeah. <laughs> Most likely. All right, that's gonna be the jab denying uh, Sonic's uh, cross up. But that neutral will deny 
uh, Nia's juggles there, and Sonix is back into an advantage position. What a, a lot of run back and forth by Nia trying to bait his opponent, but what Ooh. a read on that air dodge! That was clean. Absolutely, Sonix with the, uh, the, the... Oh, that's gonna be... Alright, that's gonna be a reset into a grab. Small damage, but still more damage than uh, the regular one, so... Good stuff to Sonix. That one. Yeah, nice chat block there. He didn't get a reset, he only got a grab off of it, which is not too bad for um, Nier, but definitely good for the mindset of Sonics. He knows he can get his stuff, he knows he can do damage, he can get big openings, but so far, Nier's a bit more convincing, I have to say. He gets more worth out of his few openings, and he got the first kill very efficiently at 80%. If he can get another kill at 80%, Sonics is soon gonna be there. Right now, Sonics and Nier at absolutely even percent. And as I say that, that Sonics is actually uh, finding some damage, finding the slap here in order to send a message. Far from killing, but so much damage racked up from that one hit. All right, and we were talking about the reliability of, of Ice Jab. I think this is the first time I've seen somebody dodge the third hit of Ice Jab. Be able to add us through it somehow. All right, the up air, very, very scary hit there. Almost wow, killing Sonics. And what? What, what just happened? Jump. I don't think he. Th I think he didn't realize he lost his jump. He used it. I, I heard near say so just what? <laughs> did did not expect what was going on there. Yeah, we and didn't either. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate for Sonics. Then again, he had his edge guard all set up, and two framing with that neutral B from Ike. It's not the hardest thing in the world, so he was in a commanding position mm. to take the game. Well, I, w I would say that it is still kind of hard to time if Sonic has a jump, since he can vary the timing. Of the OP is not reactable. I, I mean, uh, just react to it without winning the timing is absolutely impossible. But there, Sonic's not seeing that he had no jump left. We'll try to go for a weird mix up, but that did not work out, actually, SD. And now, Nier is again. In a commanding position. Oh, no, and that's gonna Ooh, be down that's a zero, zero to, to death. death. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, up uh, into up tilts. Twenty-five damage. Even game if we don't count the Starks. Nah, Sonics. Sonics is actually in a very difficult spot there. Nice, reads the neutral tag with uh -huh. the jab. But he will need more than that to get back into the game. Especially against a defensive player like Nier. You need so much hits, so many hits. Ooh, he's so good at beam. denying those. Yeah. Definitely, oh, nice power shield. That neutral air would have connected into a back air. That would have been a... Uh, that would have rang a bell. And on oh, very Ooh, nice counter. Nice Nier's, Nier's usage of the counter is amazing. I've yes. seen him... I can spy an in a more classic manner, but these kind of reads out of out of nowhere uh, are reminiscent of the how Bayonetta's use witch time. Except that the fact that uh, for the fact that witch time gives such a high reward that the players, the Bayonetta players, actually wait, wait, wait. I was explaining something. Yeah. I turned around their heads just for a second, and we see another SD from Sonics. Yes, this is weird. This sounds weird. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a double heartbreaker. Not only a heartbreaker between friends, but also a heartbreaker since Sonics is underperforming, really. It's choking yeah, a little bit. I mean, bit. after getting zero to death, you definitely want that time to feel out your opponent, yeah. readjust. Like, maybe you're gonna lose the game, but you need all the time in the game you can get to get ready for the next game. By Steam, he just doesn't get his time's worth. And it's definitely another hit to his mindset. Can he keep it up? Or is this the end of Sonic's run here at 5th at Exodus? Is this the end for you, my friend? Agreeing to town and city, it seems. A risky pick. For sure. Both, bo both characters can body each other in that stage. Yeah, just carrying off the top. Absolutely, we know the that. deal. All right, some down tilt spacing. Nier is actually hitting many more buttons than what I used to, but again, in a very accurate manner. This is 26% form, like two aerials and two hits. 
Yeah, he doesn't only hit the buttons, he also hits Sonics. He doesn't miss a lot. Mm, neutral into four there. It's gonna mean a lot. 50 un unanswered percent already again. Ooh, he had to read on the roll, but just a tad too high. It's gonna be a grab though. Grab into neutral air. The thing is that um, these these are very good, but if Nier and Sonics find the same number of openings, Sonics is losing for sure. Yes. Sonics needs to be uh, destroying his opponent in order to be in an even game, and that's the, the opposite at the moment is happening. This is not good for uh, for Sonics. That's a 2-0 situation as well. All right, that Ooh, Ether not nice connecting up by very much, uh, by, I mean, a few pixels, really. And now finding a little bit more damage, but still not in the dominant fashion that I was I was talking about. Yeah, he's still not uh, able to, no worries, able to pierce through the armor, pierce through the wall that is near. Yeah, like he gets some hits, but he's, he's just not, he doesn't feel dangerous. Nier always kind of has his space. Oh, the neutral there, almost stuff. connect, uh, almost killing there. And yeah, that's the difference, like they get hits, but like those hits, yes, they're good. Okay, oh, that was actually that, that good was actually with the good, yeah, right, right. <laughs> I, I like still, That was significant, but the, I would agree with, uh, with you that the rest of the hits aren't that significant in the, in the exchanges, really. We would yeah. need like five of them in order to, to make up for two of, of Ike's. Yeah, and more so with Ike's hit, not only it's a lot of damage, but it's so much pressure. As soon as Sonks is in disadvantage, it just gets so dangerous for him. And, and what are we one? seeing? Another SD from Sonic. What is going on? This is not, this is a heartbreaker. We are used no, to from this is Sonics. a heartbreaker. Who, I mean, we remember, he beat the last remaining Swiss player. Not cool, man. Not cool, but probably a heartbreaker for him, too. Yes. Trying to find his way back into the game. Bart taking 44, 54% already. Those uppers connecting and destroying Sonic's his last talk of the tournament. But we answering. saw the counter coming yeah. out. Yeah, we saw. But saw the upper was just a bit too quick. Gets the stock. 54%. This is definitely something that is possible to make mm. up. But it's gonna be hard. But now he's hard. getting the hits. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. 46. Now we're, yeah. One conversion. Another grab. Down throw. Ike is off stage again. Oh, that Ooh. looks like a, a, a potential spike. Sonix is actually getting creative here. He's finally connecting the hits we were talking about. Some cool combos and that, that kind of stuff. Some damaging combos that that could actually get him back into the the game in a dominant manner. He actually made it back for the deficit stock and also for the deficit in percent. Just getting hit once here, but the rest of it is also... Oh, that off smash was actually taken. That's a 3-0 for SJ Nier. And of a course. round of applause for the best Sonic in Germany, Sonics. Going out here at 7th place. 5th? 5th place. place. Songs, obviously. Can I get some songs on the chat? Yeah, of course, Nier being up so much takes the risk. And now, before we're gonna play Winner's Finals on stream, we're gonna have a short five-minute break here. We'll be Just right back. Us, Stay please. tuned. Stay tuned. Be right back, really.
All right, just some time to get back into that game. We're going to have Homika versus Tag, a Paris winners finals here on stage at Exodus. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. I know that Tag has been very, very proficient in the matchup. Like, not winning, but what, from what I've been told, he's been to Game 5 last hit so many times against, against Homika. So this is still a very tight, tight matchup. Okay, that's very interesting because... Rosalina and Luma versus Luigi is not known to be a very good matchup for Luigi. Nope. Which nope, is what I want. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's what I was switch. expecting. Yep, yep. He's switching to his main. Yep. Some people cringing in the chat. <laughs> I know them. Oh All right. my god, it's not his main. Oh my god, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> All right, Smash let's jump right into Wino's finals. Homika versus Tag. This time the Bayonetta versus Rosa Luma. Let's see how this rolls. Will Bayonetta, will uh, Homika be able to SDI the combos and survive the aggression that Tag is putting in, in every game so far? And will Tag be able to go through the wall that is Homika? He's so good at, at just touching everything. Like, these kind of phases when he, when he does have, doesn't have Luma, he's amazing at not getting hit. And as I say that, uh, Tag is actually able to get that grab on the shield on the edge. Good stuff from Amika, reading the tech, and oh god, he actually went for the down throw into uh, Adults with a forward smash. That would have been tight. So the down throw to up and not gonna kill, obviously, but uh, still some good damage racked up. Another dash attack. Amika playing confident, getting everything he can, really. Yeah, Tag is kind of struggling to get more than just single hits with his specials. Trying to get rid of Luma again here, but just gets hit. Just gets hit. <laughs> no, he don't get hit. He All gets right. hit. <laughs> That's the opposite. That's the opposite. This is hard. I get you. But now, now, now. Back to the game. We have a more and more um, percentage lead for Homika, who finds the up smash, but that's not going to be it just yet. He went straight up, and the second one will take it, though. Tag caught off card there. Twice in a row, just above Luma. Homika, with the presence of mind of pressing that C-stick right away. And now, oh, what a turnaround there. Turnaround grab actually putting Omika off stage, but Tag not able, not able to make anything out of it. Yeah, it looked very clean, but the reward was kind of lackluster. Absolutely. Every time, yeah, Tag gets some single hits, but he doesn't really start anything off of it, which is Bayo's big strength. That whatever you hit, you can follow up afterwards, usually. And Homika, Homika is uh, just... He has every answer to, to, to Bayonetta problem, really. To, to Bayonetta advantage states. And, and that, that is understandable uh, since they have so many good Bayonettas playing now in Paris. We have Griffith. You had Griffith, at least. Uh, even Joren was playing, Mjolnir. We had some gluttony Bayonetta as well. Now Tag showing that his Bayonetta is absolutely solid. Okay, Tag trying to make it passion. Very safe! 
aggression, but that's still gonna be converted by Omika. What a forward smash! Not gonna kill, but holy hell, what a message! Yeah, that's kind of frustrating to look at, but must be frustrating for Tech because he's pressing so many buttons, he's moving around, mm. doing so much, and then Omika just presses that one strong button and hits. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, that's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be the side B into up here that we take that first talk. Now we are in the situation where Bayonetta has rage and can definitely take uh, Rotaluma off the top. This is a tight one, and yep, that up smash will not allow Tag any room to breathe, any room to actually build anything. Tag is gonna go, it's gonna go 0-1 versus Homika on that first game. Yeah, and he needs a new plan. Nothing has been working Nothing. out for him. He got one Nothing. stock somehow, but and like I, Omika, Omika just took it. <laughs> too good, man. Too good. If we're and honest, and yeah, yeah, I would agree. That's what was displayed here. Yeah, uh, one moment that really shined uh, for me was the aggression. You know, like Tiger was sitting on on the platform, playing patient, and then planned the whole aggression uh, mix up. That was perfect. Like the, the 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 spacing, everything was good, and he could have actually gotten some hits on Luma and on the shield, and and just that frame where. Tag decided to run in to get something unsafe going. He got hit by forward smash. He exactly. respected everything he needed and then got the perfect forward smash reaction. It was amazing. All right, and now Tag again, off stage in the ledge uh, trap situation. Omika putting up the wall. Like, yeah, we can see uh, he's respecting uh, Tag's ground options a lot. And then when Tag tries to go around him, by going uh, up, he just uses uh, Luma's range uh, in order to get some up airs and all the stuff. And that what looked scary. But holy hell, so much pressure. He up just smash, forward smash, he, he hits, hits everything. everything. That's Dark crazy. does not get around the wall, that is Luma. And gets punished all over. Yeah, and another up smash. And the, uh, some up airs to, with it. The skid animation into, oh, into down throw, into read the air dodge down. Down smash and no more up has. This is a destructive yeah. game plan Omika for Homika. Absolutely getting destroyed here. Poor no matter what tag. he does, it's just working out. Everything, everything is working. Everything is working. And and, and Paul Tag is just he, he picked Bayonetta because he couldn't get in as Luigi and, and he's feeling exactly the same at the moment. Same despair as with his little handed Italian plumber. Yeah, and like while watching, it's not just like, I don't know what he should do because Omika is putting up that wall so well. It's crazy, it's crazy, yeah. He could abuse of the fact that Lilat has this uh, tilting in order to get some hits on Luma, right? Yeah, but, but then Homika yeah, can actually can do it. No, 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 he cannot. But well, at least he could get some hits on Luma and not die, you know, uh, not get hit by this kind of stuff. But still, still nothing is looking very well. That down smash, perfect reaction. Finally getting rid of Luma, but... That's looking grim, that's looking, no, the side B not connecting, which means he will not be able to take Homika to the roof. Finally connecting some back as putting Homika off stage. Homika is able to get back and the Luma is about to respawn. Uh, yeah, the only thing Homika is going to be complaining about is that his smash attacks are going to kill later because they're so stalled. Because he uses them all the time. Oh, and, 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 yep, and another yep. one. Another what up smash. What are you talking stuff. about? What stalling are you? You need, you don't need anything. You have Luma. You don't care about that kind of stuff. 140%. A knob smash there will kill so early. And Jesus Christ, uh, like we were saying, this is absolutely this destruction. Is yeah. This is absolute destruction. This is very, very one-sided. And yeah, I, I'm surprised. I, I think Homika ca came in with a very solid plan. Because from what I've been told, Tag was, about, uh, was, was very tight against Homika for many times. Uh, this time, no. This time, this time is just... Uh, and in... And I, I really believe it's just Omika playing that much better. Yes. Because Tag has been playing on points most uh, most of the time. But yeah, I mean, he beat the number one seed, but now yeah. the number two seed. No. That's no. just the wall. Just and the wall, he's man. not getting through that wall. No. Nope. He's just running into it again and again and again. And he's just getting hurt. But the wall is still strong. The wall stands strong. All right, let's go into that game three. Back to Lilac, obviously. Excellent stage for Bayonetta. Finally finding a forward air. All right, this is a lead. Finally Ooh, combo, a combo as well. Up tilt, up pair, converting into some uh, special moves. Shenanigans, not able to get much more than 41%, but that is still a lead, that's the first time. And every time he tries to go above Homika, Homika calls him out with an up smash. And that, that's something that will really frustrate you if you're trying to do something. Like, yeah, this side B, unsafe, 
as it was, is punished so hard, you really don't want to keep coming in. You just want to go out. You're like, yeah, I, I don't want to play anymore. Please, or at least l let me play Smash or something. Yeah, it let me go for some call-outs, let me do some stuff, but as soon as he does one button that is not 100% safe, he gets hit. And if he stays 100% safe, how is he going to get a hit? This is the uh, issue here for Tag. How are you going to get any hit in against the wall that is Omika? And again, nice roll in to escape the pressure. Sw rolling in twice on Tag's pressure. Tag not recognizing the fact that uh, Omika is abusing that just a bit. But oh, that was such a quick reaction time from Omika. Seeing that he actually reached time the Lumas hit and rolled back right away. Not going for more pressure there and that's gonna be no okay no, good presence of mind but that back here will actually take the first dog this is looking for uh, this is looking like a 3-0 for Homika at the moment yeah he's playing very convincing even though he just got a big fist into his head with that F smash but like yes it's mm, that forward smash is not gonna take it that dash attack will take the number off though yeah, those F smash or that one F smash definitely gives him some confidence but what is confidence when you're just getting up smashed and up tilted again and again it is not much, I tell you that. It is not much against Homika, really. Just can't find the answer. All right, Tag just jumping around, trying to find a way to get that kill. Finally able to find a solid confirm there into that upper. Only 43% on Tag. This is definitely still open, the only game that has been that close so far. Maybe he can still pull something out of the, out of his head. One more trick up his sleeve. But it's gonna be hard because Omika just starts walling him out again. It's like he didn't even lose the stock. He doesn't care. He's just keeping on playing his game because it's working. Alright, and what kind of change to the game plan are we seeing here? I'm not even sure. But Chag is actually able to hit his opponent now, which is looking much better. Uh, still a difficult spot again. And again and again, just getting uh, cornered by Homika. Finally getting a hit without the Luma here, but unfortunately, uh, his opponent is able to add us to it, just like that. Uh, spot touching through it, getting a grab of that, and, and resetting back to neutral, waiting for his, uh, uh, his fellow Luma that will allow him to get those strong hits in. Just like that neutral, uh, that up smash. Any hit from Luma here is going to take it. And spacing is absolutely... Paramount here in that matchup, Homika is making a an amazing use of the range that Luma is giving him. Even if he goes for a strong commitment like up smash, he doesn't get uh, punished uh, because of that. All right, good pressure for, from Tag, trying to get away from uh, Homika in a successful manner. Yeah, avoiding the up smash. It's going to dash attack through the Luma, but Luma not, does not get hit. That forward throw will be enough though. All right, now Homika holding the edge in. Going for that let uh, for, for that um, get up attack, getting him out of the situation. Now we're seeing we are back to an even game. We're finally seeing an even game here. Oh, and in that that platform actually ruined Tag's uh, yes. uh, offensive really. And that was actually getting dangerous now. Uh huh. Tag uh -huh. is getting and dangerous here. 135. Yeah, a jab combo is gonna take it. A jab jab into neutral is gonna take the 3-0 for Orgs. Homika against Tag. We have our first player in Grand Finals. We have a Parisian Heartbreaker here in Winners Finals. We have Tag uh, against uh, the rest of the losers bracket for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, and then just as it looked like the Tag was slowly finally finding a footing, finding some answers, Omika just denied it. Got that one more strong hit. Tag's going into the losers bracket, gonna have to try again. Maybe come Try back for Grand Finals. Later. Absolutely. Well, Tag is looking convincing. He might actually do uh, make it to uh, to Grand Finals through the losers, to be honest. And uh, yeah, yeah, what he's saying is like uh, he had no options. He, he's saying I I, I had no options. <laughs> and he definitely looked like it. Like every time he would jump, he would get up smash. Every time he would go down, then he would get spaced out or just uh, bullied by the by Luma's jabs. There was like a huge wall that he couldn't do anything about. That was crazy good. Yes, sir. All exactly. right. And let's get into the next match. We are in top four now. Seeing 
the match. Lancelot versus Nier. It's gonna be Diddy Kong versus Ike. What do you think about this matchup? Oh, this this matchup is terrible. Yes, I don't think I, I no, no. It's probably the worst. Yeah, no I need to be a wizard to see that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, Diddy Kong has every tool he needs to bully Ike. I not only in neutral game, really, but in, in every phase of the game, even uh, off stage, where some characters do not have anything to to. Uh, punish Ike for up being up, uh, uh, just a bit too up or that kind of stuff. Well, Diddy Kong has that down uh, that is needed, that is required in order to keep that Ike early, right? You exactly. just go above the Ike, wait for him to go for the up B, and whenever he does that, you drop, you you throw that Meteor Strike, and that's it. Yeah, and that's even it. the side B is not really safe, as Diddy Kong's fare nope. is so big that he doesn't really have to be scared to get hit yeah. by a charged side B, but can just try to... Oh, if he wants like to go for the game, he could. I'm not sure he's gonna go for that, bec because uh, yeah, as you probably know, the s the side B when it's charged, it's like a truck. So maybe you don't want really want to trade with that one, depending well, on the situation, I guess. Th yeah, I'm more thinking you can like cover the high side B and yeah. force him to go lower. Yeah, just take sense. some mm -hmm, options. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's not as safe as down airing the up B, yeah. but still you give him even less options to recover, and Ike does not have that many. Absolutely, and now we're going straight into that Lesser Semis, and Lancelot wasting no time finding that grab in 35% already. That's all, oh, and that's another phase we did not talk about. This is a difficult spot for Ike. Just uh, Diddy Kong with a banana in hand, and Ike on the edge looks like bullying to me. Yeah. How are you gonna approach Diddy Kong with a banana? Know, man. A slow character with slow hitboxes with a big hurt box. Ooh, and that banana connecting, but not on the ground, so Lancelot is not gonna get the grab. Actually getting a grab, but from the roll read, and 84% unanswered here. And as I say that, finally connecting a jab combo, that's not gonna be much. Oh, that up here actually breaking the only opening that uh, Nia had in the matchup so far. Oh, that forward smash was a bit optimistic, but he has near shook at the moment, so he can he can actually afford to go for these risky options and not get punished. Yeah, Lancelot is really having a field day so far. He only got hit by a few small hits. Near stuck on the ledge. What's he gonna do? It's gonna be an up uh, even with a cross up, not enough. Ike is fat. I repeat myself here. And that's gonna be an up smash, probably a suck. Yep, yep, yep. No lightning needed. Yeah, that's gonna be banana into BI. forward throw, into a forward there. Actually tried some fancy stuff uh, to follow that up. Fortunately for Nia, escaping that one, finally finding some damage to answer. Oh, that was the turnaround grab we were talking about just before. Another grab into forward there. And now this is a tight spot. All right, Lancelot going for the safe uh, recovery, which is good because that up smash would have... Uh, would have I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, that would have killed for sure. Actually, I, I, I don't even know why I'm, I'm thinking about that. Like this up smash is just, it, it hits like a truck. Just like this back here, putting Lancelot off stage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, Nier got those few hits, got a few combos, 90% on Diddy Kong, but now it's just back to the usual, just bullying him with this amazing frame data, his banana and all the tools he has and all the tools Ike does not have. Like this common grab right there in neutral. Covers a lot of a uh, a lot of options. It actually covers the uh, the uh, space back options if uh, space correctly, right? You can actually uh, cover the rollback and, and the uh, just the skill animation this kind of stuff. That near strives point. Ooh, that's yeah. That banana is going to make that down tilt connect into up smash. I and did not expect it to kill. DI. Yep, yep, yep. I actually died away for some reason, and that will send him straight up and getting him killed exactly. earlier. That one. That's a two stock, very convincing lead, and still no answer from me. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Honestly, the way Lancelot is playing, if he doesn't get like hard reads after hard reads in neutral. There's just not much he can do. Okay, we are going to Battlefield. Probably the best stage, as good as he can get. No. Alright. Streamer stands corrected. This is 1 0 for Lancelot. Going back into game two on Battlefield here. And same dynamics than game one. This is just straight up bullying from Lancelot. 
yeah, he's really just kind of going for his bread and butter in neutral, and Ike's just trying to run against it, but... All right, before they're almost connecting. Lots of pressure going on. All right, finally connecting a neutral, uh, but getting denied the follow-up by TD Cones for there. That's and yeah, that's a similar, yeah. similar picture to game one, just 100%, basically unanswered. If he gets some rage stuff going, he might get an early kill, but like... Diddy Kong's not getting hit. Diddy Kong is just uh, dominating the, the yeah. stage at the moment. He's just like dancing Macarena on Ike's uh, tomb. On Ike's grave. Diddy Kong just remembering his memories from when he was the most dominant character in this game. <laughs> Very much enjoying it. Like Nier still trying to find an opening. He cannot allow himself to play the evasive playstyle that he's so used to, that he's so good at. Diddy Kong is a defensive character. Even more when he's in such a lead. That's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be another up smash and that's gonna be a stock. Banana down tilts up smash. There is nothing you can do about it. Lancelot striking fear into the eyes of the end. And Neo actually striking back with up smash into four there. And now this is another actually connecting. <laughs> this is going to be an even game. Four hits. Four hits is enough That's to get that stock. This is amazing. And that neutral into up tilts into... All right, he went a bit too hard on that one. But finally, in lead position. We yeah, were talking about striking fear. And now it's near actually striking fear in the eyes of, of, uh, of uh, Lancelot, really. Yeah, like, as soon as he gets those few hits and gets Diddy Kong into a position he wants him, and uh, if he can follow up a few times, that's death. Oh, that's but he just, there. every time, for every hit, every single hit, that's a hard read, basically. He needs to make a call out. He cannot just go for safe options because then he's not getting hit. While Diddy Kong is just doing what he always does and basically has to work. Which is why Lancelot, but, yeah. being a very good player, He's just not faced by getting almost here to death here. He's just keeping on doing his game plan. All right, the command grab. Finding some percent on near here. Try, yeah, he actually tried to go for the back air, contesting that side B. Not gonna connect just yet, but that down tilt in up smash is going to not dead just yet. Near has another... Another shot at life, but Lancelot catching him, landing right on that platform. What a clean stock again. What a clean game plan execution from yeah. Lancelot, really. Like we saw, Nier getting some stuff going. He got a great conversion for the first stock, got 80% of the second stock, which is deep into kill percent against Diddy Kong. But Lancelot just kept his cool, remained relaxed. He's and, Diddy, and he's playing Ike. Just give him the clap, give him the clap, tell him to go home. Exactly, that's a 2-0, clean 2-0 here for Lancelot. But Nier looked like he had some, a, a few, like the bribes of an answer to Lancelot City Kong in the last game. And uh, now he's actually opening up by, uh, by taking the lead in that game. Lancelot answering him right away though with that 48%. Very smart of B here, getting rid of the banana as well. Exactly, I think the banana also cancels the landing of the RP, so it's a very safe get off the ledge option. Ooh, but that normal get up, just of course you're gonna fall down because of the banana, you can't do that. Yeah, exactly, that's what I meant. Very clean. Yeah, that's really clean. I don't think he will be able to use that mix up uh, too often, but that is still a clean way to get out of that edge against City Tank for Ike. Alright. Side B to the edge, Banana and Side B on near space. That's gonna be a forward smash, taking that first stock again. This is looking like the clean 3 or for the Finnish player against uh, the last remaining hope of Germany. Yeah, just as I wanted to say that, like, near is getting a few hits, he's getting 60% on Lancelot with some rage. He might start searching for a kill, and then Lancelot just found the KO, and now this is just a big, big lead. For a character with the defensive capabilities of Diddy Kong, that's huge and that's hard. Absolutely is. Well, it's uh, 
looking grim, looking grim. And every opening and he has, he gets shut down by Lancelot. So we not only need a turn up in terms of neutral game, in terms of winning exchanges, but also in terms of damage racked up when the hit connects. We need the sweet neutral and into back air stuff we've seen in the other sets. Yeah, but how does he set it up? Because every time he approaches, Diddy Kong's just gonna run away, throw the banana. If it hits, that's a grab. If it doesn't hit, well, he's still safe. Just throw, uh, shoot some peanuts, wait for Ike to approach. He doesn't need the banana. Right, this is a slow-paced gameplay for sure. Just Lancelot camping onto his lead and he's absolutely right to do that. Uh, Nier is too good of a player when you go into him uh, to afford changing the game plan at the moment. We just wanna keep keep getting yeah yeah he was looking for that up throw up there. He wanted to do the uh, zero evil special on Nier. Yeah but even if he doesn't get it like he can try, try again until something is gonna find the knockout. Yeah, another up throw up here at some point which is gonna kill, right? Yeah. At some point it's gonna kill, or even down tilts. Okay, right. That was the only risk he took in neutral and didn't get punished for, uh, for that. Gonna be an up throw and an up uh, still not killing again, again. But uh, banana, up throw, up uh, recent repeats. This is Lancelot game's plan for the rest of the game there. Oh, ho, that all right. was yeah. active for so long. Yeah, I think Lancelot got caught up just because of the active frames really. He had the nice uh, patience there. Yeah, but like that's one more trick spent. Didn't get gotten too much, only a single hit. And that's one less. Ooh, Thing that's gonna be down smash and for sure. That's a 3-0 clean, clean. Yeah, he just walked up slowly and down smash. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about that. But yeah, no, really. True. <laughs> walked up slowly, down smashed. Got the clean 3-0. Convincing Diddy Kong stuff there. Oh yeah, absolutely. This was this was a wrap up. It's been two sets that has been absolutely crashing for yeah. from from the winners like from Lancelot and and Homika. All right, and now. We are back to an exciting matchup. I believe Tag is on stage again, trying to show off his some of his. Luigi? Uh, his what? He who, who that? Either he's gonna play Luigi or he's gonna play his main. Um, Lancelot, on the other hand, sticking with the Diddy Kong. Yeah, against, against Diddy Kong, he can actually uh, go Luigi there. He can't afford himself to go for that one. It's gonna be an exciting one. I know Luigi has a lot of damage on Luigi whenever he gets in. He actually can deal with Banana rather well as well. He's uh, one of the characters that even pre-patch CD, uh, he, that could deal with even pre-patch CD really. So yeah, yeah, let's jump right to it. That's Loser's Finals. Is that Loser's Finals already? This is Loser's Finals. This is Loser's Finals. Oh, we right. are getting to the really hot part of this tournament. Top three now. Who's going to get a ch another chance? They both. Oh, that's going to be yeah, down there. Is he able to? No, just great not catching. Yeah, yeah, with great, great, great uh, presence of mind from Lancelot, right? Oh, that's going to be down tilt, down smash, a lot of damage. Forward air denying the jump from Tag, but Tag able to make it back safely. Only banana, the forward air, da uh, banana down tilt again. The down smash not connecting, but a lot of damage up on on tag. All right, he denied most of the stage. Now tag needs to find the opening, but no, 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 no. Lancelot denying it. It's gonna be a down throw into double forward air. Not connecting, unfortunately, again. Nice EI. And that's, yeah, that's Diddy Kong answering with some downers of his own. Very nice. Oh, that very nice mash from Tag. He had no jump. He knew he had to actually go for that one. And yeah, he's going for the banana up B now. He goes for the goofy stuff. It's going to be misfire. You cannot take that. You cannot. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. This is unfortunate. Like, it's one out of ten. And unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't help you at all. Yeah, and you see all those cool compilations on YouTube when they, when they do it and people and get then. punished for trying to punish it but not this time Lancelot just goes for the clean back air gets the stock and now he's already at a big lead again mm. 76 yeah. on tag Lancelot wants his rematch against Omika definitely definitely 
Yeah, this is gonna be another forward there. He will need to get the match out. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. This guy is not elegant. This guy will uh, might need to uh, switch to his main in order to uh, win against the monster that is Lancelot in that tournament. Lancelot is, is playing very on point today. Yes, um, do you know what Lancelot's seed was actually? Because I, I, I don't wanna know, know what he was, he was expected. To be mo I most, likely, most likely pre pretty high, right? But higher than. I don't think he was higher than six. Six or fifth. Yeah, he definitely made some upsets to get here. For example, Purple Age. Another example, Bayonetta. Age, and yeah. now he's facing off against the second Bayonetta main here, who is tagged. That's a. I, I, I'm wondering. I would say that from what we've seen uh, on the, in, in the set, Tag versus Purple Age, Tag might have a shot against his Diddy Kong, but Lancelot was so proficient against Purple Age. He, he was so clean in that matchup. I don't know if Tag has enough knowledge against Diddy Kong uh, to, to actually take it home. On the other hand, Lancelot knows his stuff very, very well. He gets all the hits, like those small hits, and racking up so much damage. Bayonetta gonna die soon because she's so light. And Lancelot just refuses oh, to commit. Oh, that's Yeah. Oh, no. No Drops more than combo. a down tilt forward air. Drops the combo here. Nice take from Lancelot. He's gonna stop it right there and answer with some damage of his own. Right tag, what do you have? Lancelot is just looking him in the eyes, telling him, your turn to play, man. Oh, nice catch on the banana. Avoiding getting hit by that one. The banana is gonna, yeah, it's gonna mean so much when it comes to uh, clutching that game. Yeah, very good one. Some weird shenanigans coming out from Tag. But that down tilt up smash is still going to connect. Somehow, Lancelot gets that first stock. And Lancelot just... He says, go back to your secondary. He doesn't want to see the Bayo because he's just, he's just bullying Bayo right now. Oh, but Tag is playing two up bears into up B and two another up B there. Bayo does Probably not like to get yeah. bullied. Yeah, no, he doesn't. And again, uh, I think what he's doing very well, what we've seen from Tag is calling out the SDI up, right? And he actually adjusts by jumping after the first up B in order to connect the side B. And that caught so many players off guard there and granted him so many stocks. Some Parisian knowledge there. All right, that's gonna be an up throw into an up there. Ooh, and that's a witch time. What can Tag do with that witch time? An up B, a side B connecting the up B and again. That's gonna be one. Top. That's gonna be a one one. Tag switching to his main finally paid out. Like Lancelot just had everything going for him. Had a big lead. Only took a few hits before he took Tag's first stock. And Tag was just like, you know where we're going, bro? We're going up. Just twice, just roofing him, and Absolutely. that's and, Bayo uh, yeah. for you. Uh, this time I didn't see the adjustment with the jump. He just, uh, maybe Lancelot didn't SDI that way, but I believe it was just like a uh, strong adaptation from Lancelot and Tag reading it again, right? They started from higher up, maybe that was it too. But anyway, Tag with a clean, clean conversions again and again. Taking that second game and now we're go jumping straight into that third game on Town and City nonetheless. This is going to be an explosive game for sure. Yeah, on the other hand, Lancelot, we saw his game plan working out in the beginning. Ooh. He just needs to stay safe Ooh. and well, not get hit so much. That, that, yeah, that, that combo. Thankfully, he, uh, thankfully for Lancelot, he escaped it. But that looked hurtful already. That clean up tilt juggle into an up and more damage. Yeah, that, that was rough. It's gonna be a banana. Very nice bait. With that weight in shields. Connecting the banana into a throw and more damage. Alright, that's gonna be a banana. Another throw for sure. Absolutely not gonna kill. But that back here, not stealing uh, the up air too much. Yeah, the next grab might lead into a kill 50-50. That's gonna be a knob down tilt, but no, yeah, he, he recognized that he was not in rage to make that thing happen, but that forward smash. Bats with him don't help you here. Yeah, that Multi two piece just connects, gets the stock. Similar to last game, but let's see if Lancelot can pull through this time and not get which Ooh, and that, oh, yeah, yeah, but that, to the top. You see those faces, like uh, custom combos coming in from Lancelot, like some very, e I mean, uh, 
not very complex stuff, but definitely working out 66% on uh, tag there. Yeah, like at the moment, as, soon, as long as he's up, every trade is a good trade because Bayo does not live very long. She's so um, light, so thin. She's gonna die soon. Uh, she's For example, right there. Oh, never mind. Ah, never mind. I actually got blessed. The commentator's curse uh, strikes again. That's an up throw. That's ah, an up that's air. An up air. And town and city. Yeah, that town and city will seal the deal there. We're gonna cling two stock. This is uh, looking scary for Tag. Having no answer, no jank to offer this time. He he started so well. Like he was actually juggling, reading every landing option uh, from Lancelot for a while. Actually connecting like two or three up tilts, able to do, uh, confirm it into an up B and some or uh, some other uh, some other combo follow ups really. But then then Lancelot just turned it up. He said like, yeah, I'm, I've had enough of this shit. Just I'm go I'm going in now and destroyed his opponent really. Yeah, just when Lancelot gets comfortable, that's when it gets scary. And right now he's sitting comfortably there. He already beat Nier very comfortably. Here he got two games up to one. Maybe one game away from moving into Grand Finals. And he's having fun on stage. Oh yeah, he is. I think both players are having fun, really. Maybe, maybe not Tag. He looks like kind of uh, cursed at the moment. He's like, oh, I want to play Luigi, but I also want to win. He's thinking about the stage. He wanted to go back to Dreamland, but of course, in Switzerland, we have the DSR activated, so he can't do that, and he actually doesn't go to the other triplet, but to Smashville. Well, we also have uh, Dreamland and Battlefield tied, so you are not allowed to do that. Oh, yeah, true. All right. That's a lot of damage, and that's going to be a forward air, down tilt, and some more weird follow-ups offstage. Unfortunately, not connecting into anything else. The moment trying to connect the town tilt, but Lancelot is being so patient he cannot do it. He's not getting hit by that. Alright, uh, the side B is not gonna connect, but the second piece of side B was not triggered. So he's he's able to actually get out of here without taking too much damage. Alright, up B, side B actually waited just a bit in order to be at the right height, but Lancelot with a clean SDI got out of it very fast. Right now, that's going to be a forward there, right in the face, denying stage control for Tag. That's another RB. Yeah, the second one is too far away, though. Lancelot is denying away from uh, Bayonetta in a powerful fashion. And now, and now we're back into that scary, scary place for Bayonetta. The neutral game with a banana in hand. That one, yeah. It's gonna be a banana into not no no banana needed just an up smash there it's not gonna take it just yet but 68 percent rage and 30 we can expect yeah we can expect this kind of stuff to start killing tag needs to be much more careful there yeah lancelot definitely sitting comfortable you can oh, see that's he's ooh. not coming in where he yep. doesn't need to yeah 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 he's getting his clean hits exactly he's taking it slow i am um, sad for tag there he actually got the air dodge but realized he had the air dodge lead uh, just a bit too late and went for a uh, too much of a commitment and now lost his stock and lost 50% to Lancelot's absolute reckless assault. Yeah, and this is his tournament stock. Oh, He's Jesus. gotta be shaking a bit. Yeah, there, this nice. is this is very rough. Lancelot is having... He's basically reading every tech chase. He's having every opening for himself. Not letting Zack getting anything at the moment. This is looking like a beating. Yeah, he's just stacking up damage right now. All right, the banana Ayo. is off. Tag finally played patient enough in order to... All right, that's going to be an up B. Nothing else... Well, right. Diddy Kong offstage with that neut neutral air. Uh, neutral air, but unfortunately not able to edge guard Lancelot from that one. Lancelot coming back and with a classic answer. Banana into up throw. Up air. The up tilt connecting. Not going to kill just yet. Yeah, Tag just gets one more shot at life. This is his tournament stock. He's... Close to being eliminated. Can Bayo pull He's through so one close. more time? So close. Or is Lan Lancelot is so close to going to grand finals as well. All right, that's forward air. Nothing connects. Nothing. All oh, right, so that's the uh, the dive kick, and that's gonna be a that's banana up smash. That's it. Lancelot goes to grand finals. HK Lancelot coming straight from Finland, and gets guaranteed second place. Tag out of third place. What a run from Tag! For 
amazing stuff from the Paris scene here today at Exodus. But yeah, you gotta be you gotta be a little bit sad about what had just happened. This was a rough beating, man. Yeah, Lancelot is just so strong. Absolutely. Just showing up here, coming to Switzerland. DD is still top tier, and he's Didi proving it. And he tier. earned himself another shot at Omika. Ah, we won't be starting Grand Finals right now, it seems. We are, we're going to start uh, Grand Finals in two minutes. Grand Finals between the Finnish Finals player, Lancelot, versus uh, France's best Rosalina Luma player, Hovika. But first, I think uh, I think the TO has something to do with the ladder one. We had a, a very sweet ladder uh, setup today. And with a price, uh, a very heavy price, as well that I, I, I very much love like you can actually play against a lot of players of your level and and the winner of the bracket actually got a Mario Party for Switch. So that's pretty good. That's that's actually it's only actually awesome. I wanted to win this game but I Me had to too. do commentary yeah. so I couldn't grind yeah, the ladder. Let's, let's uh, blame the fault on that, right? <laughs> let's say that if we didn't commentate we would we would have Of course, I mean we're the sickest race. foxes so sickest foxes for sure. All right. Maybe next time. No, actually, they need us for commentary. I'm sorry, what? Next time we will commentate as well, for Probably. sure. Probably. Okay. Oh, a lot of finished. Oh, that's it. Collusion! Collusion! It's Congratulations to Kepler for fraud his, frauding his way into winning the ladder. He actually gets the Mario Party for Switch. Yeah, he just saw that there was Mario Party for playing ladder, so he just dropped out of the bracket at 17th, lost to Pewix, <laughs> and went to play the ladder okay. because yeah, Mario, Mario Party is high. Would have done the same, for sure, for sure. You did. <laughs> oh, egg? What? 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 You'll be me, man. I don't like it. Sorry, it's a bit, just a bit too loud on stage. Can we have some adjustment, please? And some distractions. So that, what? Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, guys. We are just about to jump into Grand Finals. Let's get a nice shot at Two Brothers and the inside job. The fraud that actually got Kepler to win. Mario Party. <laughs> No, guys. Oh, come on. Come on. If we're going to applause, let's make it clean. Let's get a round of applause for Silent Gaming Kepler. Thank you very much. Congratulations to him. And now we're going to jump straight into Grand Finals. Can we have Homika versus Lancelot on stage, please? All right, Homika walking towards the stage. I can see him relax, as always. He's a very patient player, very composed player. Yeah, I mean, he's got to feel confident. He already beat Lancelot once in bracket. He beat everyone on his way here so far, pretty handily, pretty definitely, convincingly. Definitely. Yeah, even winners finals. That was 3-0. So that was destruction. That was destruction. But Lancelot, he also had some destructive matches, and he was one who did not really get destroyed by Omika. He even took a game, and he's trying to take more than just one game now. He wants the reset. He wants to win this. Well, this is looking rough, but uh, I would agree with you that Lancelot is the one who has a shot at uh, ticking Homika. I mean, he's had the strongest of showing. I wouldn't know about his usual level, so I cannot compare how hot is he is today. But from what we've seen, he's playing the cleanest uh, of, of them all so far. And uh, he might actually be hyped enough, pumped enough by all these losers games to get at least Homika to suffer a bit for his uh, money. Exactly, at least give him a run, give him a fight, and give us some hype. All right, guys agreed for a stage that's gonna be obviously a Diddy Kong versus Rosalina matchup. We have one Diddy, <laughs> you don't play Diddy Kong? In before, he's also a Bayo main. Jesus Christ, please don't. Please don't. Nah, 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 please don't. 
No, 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 no. Lancelot, no way. Are oh, you wait. actually doing this? He's serious? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, I have so many top tiers. Ouch. That actually hurts Well, my there's just one thing to myself. hope for. I mean, we saw what Homika did to Tak just yeah. before. <laughs> Are we just going to see this? Yeah, this is actually is it a just going to be a quick game of Bayo and then back to Diddy Kong? This is or a boss Or is Bayo huh? actually... Is it real? I, I don't know if this Bayonetta is real, but what I can tell you is that Homika is amazing at the matchup. It is on to win. All right, Grand Finals of Exodus 2018. Yeah, let's hear it for our two competitors. Do we have some hype here in the venue? Are you ready for Grand Finals? Oh, damn. That's loud for the Swiss scene. They <laughs> are actually the hyped. Around. This is amazing. We have had an amazing time so far. This is, this is for real the climax of the tournament here. Lancelot trying to find an answer to Homika coming from winner's side. Lancelot will need to win two sets in order to get that W. Sweet it's gonna be victory. yeah, the sweet victory. That's gonna be that's gonna be a hard one. That's gonna be a hard one. But so far he's doing not too bad of a job. Still all right. Ooh, this is witch time. Dangerous witch time. Oh, not able to connect the second one. The second one is the tricky one, right? You exactly. you need to connect it just in the time that where which time actually stops in order to drag your opponent uh, high enough to kill him. But I've seen Kepler use it to actually keep from zero percent when you're on platform. So this is doable. So if Lancelot adjusts his timing just a bit more, we could have seen already a stock. This is the kind of opening that could grant Lancelot the win that Tag couldn't get. And yeah, his payo is very clean so far, very convincing. Definitely not just a desperation pick. <laughs> the craziest, the hypest of music, of course. Coming in clutch for that grand finals. 136% for Lancelot, stuck on the edge, but no. You know, that's Bayonetta. You can actually... Oh, you can actually die from up smash whenever you're in front of Omika. That's what, exactly what I was about to say. Omika, uh, knowing the range so well, whenever he just... One, if there is just one hand of Bayonetta in the range, he just pr pushes the button, Amazing. gets the up smash every time. Amazing. So efficient. Time, yeah, so efficient and, and so accurate. That's the most uh, amazing, uh, impressive part in all that. The accuracy in the up smashes. He hits them so well. And there's going to be another down smash just for the stage control and some damage, of course. An up throw and an upper connecting. The Luma not following up. It's going to up tilt. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a forward smash. That's going to take the first stock for Lancelot. Lancelot still in and actually taunting. Is, it, is that a Bayonetta thing? Or uh, whenever somebody plays Bayonetta, they need to taunt whenever they get a stock. It, it's I mean, crazy. it's kind of a meme. Basically, going Bayo is kind of a taunt already in itself. That's true. She's definitely the sassiest character in the game. One of the sassiest characters I've seen in... Oh, and we are off stage history. now. Oh, but he doesn't get the nair this time. Uh, and an amazing recovery from Momika, because you know, you know, you probably know how well Bayonetta is able to bully Rosaluma off stage. But now we're talking about bullying. This is the bullying. Homika have seen, have been seen. Holy, rip English. We have seen Homika uh, do two tag. This kind of up, accurate up smashes, taking stock so early, and uh, again dominant. Dominant win for Homika. Yeah, even though Lancelot's Bayonetta was definitely not just a desperation pick, it looked very fine, but Homika is just better. At least in this matchup, he got more going. Bayonetta was fine, but still missing that one loss. Like, witch time, he hit the witch time, but he didn't Boy, get exactly. the punish yeah, yeah. he exactly. wanted. He, he lacks accuracy, but... That also means that he has the opening. It, it's not uh, just an execution thing, right? And again, uh, th that one could have been a stock. I believe Homika actually has the eye out of it efficiently. Lancelot chasing down Homika in the air. He's definitely playing his advantage state well. That's something we've also seen in the last game. Whenever Homika was off stage, he got hit four or five, four or five times by the air. But Homika needs so little. Like, you give him a little finger and he takes the whole hand and just punishes you so hard for Ooh, every little that, mistake. Oh, Jesus Christ, that four smash at the edge is actually able to catch Bayonetta trying to get back on stage, which is crazy because one of the biggest uh, strengths of Bayonetta is never to get edge guarded. And now Homika actually has an answer for that as well. He came in prepared for that matchup. He came in that tournament 
knowing that he's not losing to any Bayonetta. That's going to be a, a down throw into an up and another one that's not going to take it and so today, early. Jesus it looks like Christ. he's not only not losing to Bayonetta, he's but just he's just not losing to anyone. He's just destroying them. He's just... Homika is on a rampage at the moment. They're killing his opponents at, so at early, as early as 30% again and again and again. Jesus Christ, Lancelot will need to reconsider, yeah, reconsider his options there. Going, switching back to Diddy, going, and this is the most uphill battle I've seen in a while. Two, down 2-0, two and he loses. Against the player of Omika's caliber. <laughs> the, against Omika, against Omika on fire, I would say. Omika just playing the tightest I've ever seen him play. This is looking scary and very hard for him. All right, that's an up here. another one. Not gonna kill just yet. Down smash, not gonna get rid of Pluma like that. Oh, oh very nice, nice one. Jab. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. He can actually shield and hit at the same time. He's cheating. All right, Lancelot finally finding some openings there. Lancelot in lead, what's he's gonna do? Read the air dodge and getting the forward smash. All right, we're back to our lead situation. What's gonna be the mix up? Yeah, and Diddy Kong is working out right now. The crowd is starting to clap for every down tilt. Mm, that forward smash was... Okay, okay, I see you, Ooh, I see Luma you. saving lives there. And ruining others. Oh, that's gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be Luma dead. He actually got some uh, nice mix-ups in order to uh, confuse Homika. Like, he actually forward smashed the uh, Luma. And then appeared like he was going to chase the Luma. Homika was like, yeah, that's a free punish. And threw an up smash in there. That was a scary situation because that would have been uh, Homika stuck, right? When he gets the rage up there, but it's not quite enough. An oh, up smash. And and now this smash, is not yeah. looking so good anymore. Absolutely not. That's going to be a jab combo. All right, Lancelot able to get nice. out of it and covering the roll with that up shield. Everything. What is this range? What was this? Jesus Christ, Lancelot with the right answer for Homika there. His Diddy Kong working much better. Finally in a stock lead against Homika. Right. Yeah, and at this point you might wonder if Lancelot oh. is disappointed in even trying the Bayonetta because his Diddy Kong is working so well. He's working so well until Homika does that. Did you see the passions in the player? Even in Advantage State he just waited for like the time of four air dodges until Lancelot uh, pulled the trigger. And that's gonna grant him the stock. Still in Lancelot's favor, but looking much more doable for Homika already. Alright, Homika. How are you going to defend yourself against that monkey without Luma? That's exactly how you have to do it. The up smash not connecting for once. And oh, getting away from that forward smash with that neutral there. That was clutch. Luma is helping out so much here. Keeping it close while Lancelot is still in the lead. All right, Ooh, that's another gap. Yeah. Dangerous. <laughs> Jesus, that's everybody. Still yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa, that's what a bait. What a bait. I'm pretty sure he actually got tripped, but on, on purpose or something. He actually got tripped, and, and the Luma was still there to defend him. So that was a free hit. Uh, he was cornered by the banana, but found a way to get back in it so efficiently. All right, that's a trade. Luma getting hit a little bit more. She's still very far from dying. This is the la potentially the last talk of the tournament. Last talk of Lancelot, last finish hope. And that was close with that up smash. Mm, and again, Luma. Luma, Luma denying everything from Lancelot here. Blocking that's going to be, oh, that's going to be down smash. Oh, oh, and the other one. Oh, and that's and the up there. There. That's it. That's going to be. Reversing the situation. Absolutely amazing performance from Homika, actually reversing the situation. Knowing his character so well, he could actually take off guard. Lancelot again and again and clutch it out 3-0 here at Exodus. Amazing performance from the Paris player and a round of applause for our second place, Lancelot coming straight from Finland. All right, so we're gonna have the TO now jumping on stage to give out the prizes. Thank you very much for following. Uh, we've had like a quite a peak of viewer so here. We've had an amazing time here at Exodus at the venue. Please come next time. You won't regret that. We're definitely having a next time over here, right? And um, well, thank you for tuning in. Tune in the next time. I believe we have a next tournament uh, very soon, or not very soon, but I at mean the reset already already planned in June. Next summer. Next summer. Gonna very take some time. Very soon, I said.
All right, I'm almost dying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm almost dying there. Yeah, same. And so I want to play some Smash finally. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, so we I want to play all day. Let me play some Smash. We definitely want to play some Smash. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I've had an amazing time here at Exo.